guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And welcome, welcome to, to season three of Twin My Heart. Which started out as a journey to find my twin sister, Love. Turned into us playing matchmaker for some of our friends. Pew! Ronnie. Pew! What are you doing? I'm being Cupid. Oh my god. <laughs> so in season one, Cupid over here set me up with a bunch of amazing guys to help me find the one. We had so much fun that we wanted to do the same thing to two of our closest friends, Franny and Neza. And now we're back again to help our friend Nate Wyatt find the girl of his dreams. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Nate Wyatt. I am an actor, a musician, and you may have seen me on TikTok. If you guys know me, you know that I am the only person that's single amongst my friend group. And what I really miss about a relationship is the companionship and the connection you share with someone. And in Los Angeles, I'm not gonna lie, that's really hard to find. This season, we've picked 10 girls to join us here in the Twin My Heart Mansion. And we're putting them through a series of challenges and dates to see who will ultimately win the love of the Hype House heartthrob. A bunch of girls under one roof? What could possibly go wrong? All right, Nate, the girls are about to arrive. Oh are you excited? Are you nervous? How are you feeling? I'm, I'm super excited. Obviously, I'm a little nervous because I haven't met them yet, but there's been a build up to this show and I've been waiting for this moment, so I'm excited. I'm so nervous. I'm nervous too, I mean, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you nervous? Why are you nervous? Are you nervous? Oh, I'm just oh nervous. God. You guys think I'll be able to find a match? Yes, okay. of course. Okay, whew, all right. First off, we've got Brianna and Blanca. Okay, they're super cute. Hi. Hi, I'm Blanca. I'm Bri. Bri, nice to meet yeah, you. Nice. We're starting off strong. Hi, I'm Brianna. I'm looking for friendships, have a good time, and then to find my Prince Charming. I'm Blanca. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Los Angeles, and I work as a personal assistant. Okay, so next up is Gabby and Aaron. What? What happened? Wait, what, what? happened? So oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I know her. No, who? <gasps> I know Aaron. <gasps> shut up. Wait, wait, what? wait. What? Did you really? Did you guys do that on purpose? No. Hey guys, I'm Aaron. I am a 22 year old student from Ohio. Yeah, no. I yeah, I know Aaron. We go way back. I'm Gabby, I'm 23 years old. Um, I'm actually from Chamaicola, California, and I'm an actress. Next we have Kayana and Daniela. Okay, Miss New York Fashion Week. They're both really pretty. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Daniela. Hi, I am Kayana. I am 25 years old. I am a student and I am from Houston, Texas. Hi, I'm Daniela. I am 23 years old. I'm currently working at a store and I'm from Dallas, Texas. Y'all did great. Y'all did great so far. How many? How many left? Uh, four more. Okay. Next is Rebecca and Monica. Hi, Monica. I'm Rebecca. They look amazing too. Like. <laughs> Hi everyone. My name's Rebecca. I'm 24 years old and I work in finance at an entertainment company. Hi, I'm Monica. I'm 23 years old and I'm from San Diego, California, and I'm currently a master's student at USC. What I can tell so far about these girls is that they seem like they're having a lot of fun. And these girls definitely seem very confident and that's what I'm looking for in a woman. The final two, we have Sophia and Olivia. Okay. See, everyone seems so happy, I love it. Hi everyone, my name's Olivia. I'm 20 years old and I'm from LA, Los Angeles, California. And I'm currently a student and a social media content creator. Hi, my name is Sophia Masson. I'm 22 years old. I'm originally from New York City. This is happening. This is happening right now. I'm ready to meet him. Oh, I'm you ready. are? Okay. I'm ready, yeah. All right, I'm let's ready. go. Guys, <laughs> hi. 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 I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. We're, We're the, the Merrill Twins, Twins and welcome, welcome to Twin, Twin My Heart. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're 
so excited to have you all here and thank you so much for taking the time and taking all the precautions and doing all the tests and stuff. We really, really appreciate it. And so. I know the crew appreciates it as well. So thank you guys for yeah, doing Yeah, thank that. you. Okay, are you guys ready to meet the love interest for this oh season? Yes. <laughs> all right, well, we're so happy and excited to introduce to you guys Nate Wyatt. Nate Watson. He looks so good. His outfit is so cute. I love a man that can dress and um, he was fitted. What's going on, ladies? Hello. How are you guys? Great. I gotta give you guys a hug though before, before we do all this. First of all, he is tall. I said, whoa, sir. Hello. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Hi, I'm Sophia. Hi, Nate. So, elephant in the room, I know Nate. Well guys, thank you so much for being here. Of course. Seriously, you guys look amazing. He has dimples, and I am a sucker for dimples, so I mean, this guy is super cute. Okay, so we have a fun activity planned for you guys today. You guys can head back to your rooms. There's some clothes laying out for you guys. You change into oh. them, and then come back here for a field day. Woo! A field day, okay, that's what we're doing, I guess. <laughs> So we chose field day because we thought this would be the perfect opportunity for Nate to see the girls' personalities, to see who's competitive and who's not. Let's go, blue team! Hey! Let's go! Welcome to Twin My Heart Field Day! You guys are going to be participating in three different challenges. The first one is going to be tug of war. Oh. Yo, who's competitive here? Oh, the whole red team? The whole red team. Are you guys competitive at all? No one's competitive? There we go. Okay, we got one. So if you guys have seen the show before, um, the love interest gets to choose an MVP at the end of each challenge. And there's different factors that go into choosing an MVP. So Yeah, so we don't luck, luck, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to see like super, like a lot of like, Athleticism, I just want to see that you guys are trying and having fun, so. Why don't you guys come up with some team names okay. first before we do the Ooh. tug of war? What should we do, guys? <laughs> One, two, three. Nate's Angels! Nate's Angels, let's go! Give me some of that, give me some of that. Give me some Nate's Angels, are you kidding me? That's so fire, let's go. Yo, I don't know who came up with that, but these girls are looking heavenly. Okay, a few things before we start. One, do not wrap your wrist around the rope. I'm sure you guys know that though. Two, to win the game, you gotta get this red marker across that line or vice versa. So our strategy was toss in the bag, it's just me, obviously. And three, okay, everybody get ready. Everybody, you ready? Oh my oh god, oh god. <laughs> yes. Three, the biggest thing. Whoever is the MVP is safe from tonight's elimination. Okay. Okay, go. <laughs> let's go, let's go, come on ladies, come on ladies, come on. Right now, Nate's Angels are losing. And because of their name, I feel like I need to help them. So I do. Okay, okay, come on, 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 red team. Oh, no. you got it, you got it, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, well, all right, red team won. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, so we just won tug of war. It's all in place, baby. One, two, three, spicy mommy! Well, so it's kind of clear that the red team won tug of war. So congratulations, spicy mamas. Mommies. Mommies. Mamas or mommies? Mommies. 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 <laughs> so blue team, you're going to need to step it up for the next activity, which is capture the flag. Okay, so for this game, each team has a flag and the objective is for you guys to capture your color flag. Yeah, and if all three of your flags on your belt get ripped off, you can no longer go to the opposing team's side to try and capture the flag. Okay, so ladies, let's get to your side of the field. Woo! So let's see everyone's ready stance first. What's everyone's like? There we go. Okay, ready, set, go. Okay, athleticism. Oh, oh, moves. Oh, the speed, the speed. Look at the juice, Don't look at the juice. Don't hold on to me, what the heck? <laughs> 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 okay, so get it. 
Okay, okay, so you got your, okay, so you have to, wait, wait. This is literally impossible. These women are flying. This is super fun to see because I get to see who's competitive and yo, these girls are in it to win it. Okay. Nate's Angels. And now we're tied. So we're gonna have to see what happens next, but I'm hopeful. Okay, so blue team won that challenge. So it's a tie right now, which means this last challenge will be the, the tiebreaker. Tie oh, it's a tiebreaker. Yeah, and so for this challenge, we're actually going to ask you guys to pick one person who is the team leader of your team to participate, participate for the last Ooh. challenge. We all picked Kiana as our team leader because during the defense, she was so good. So Monica was our leader from the beginning. She came up with our team name. She's just so good at sports and we really think that she's gonna win this for us. So for Nate's Angels, the team leader is Monica. And then the Spicy Mommies is Kiana. Hey. Balls. Giant Ugh. orb ball things. This okay, so <laughs> so the leaders will be getting in these and racing each other in, in the, the pool. pool. You know, we've never really tried the waters orbs, but I feel like this would be a really fun challenge to do. Yeah. So All right, let's, let's go to the pool. Let's go to the pool. Woo! The red team. Yeah, we're definitely winning. Okay, ladies. So. The first to make it to this side wins for your team. Are you ready? Let's go, okay. Ready, set, go. Oh, 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 oh. Like a hamster, think like a hamster. Think like a hamster, think like a hamster. Interesting technique, but I think they're on to something. She's just rolling. Go, Monica, go, go, you got this. Why are they going backwards? I don't understand the physics there. <laughs> Their neck and neck, this is so intense. <laughs> you're almost there. Okay, you're almost there, come on, you got it, you got it, keep going. Oh, red team. Red team. And that's a W for the spicy mommy. I'm a little bummed that I didn't win the Zorb race. I know my team was counting on me to win because we were both tied. Ooh, oh, that yeah. was so great. <laughs> All right, so the red team, Spicy Mommies, won this group challenge. Woo! Congratulations. So now it is time for Nate to pick an MVP for the challenge today. The girls' faces are super intense right now. You can tell they all want to win MVP. Yeah, guys, so this person um, really showed up today. She was a team leader. She laid it all out in the, what do you call them, Zorbies? Zorbs? Zorbs. And the MVP for today is Kayana. You are safe from eliminations tonight. <laughs> Kayana totally deserved MVP. She really showed that she's a leader today and I think she deserved the role. Yeah, I think she's good to keep around. So, twin my heart, usually after the challenge, the love interest always picks someone to go on a one-on-one -on -one date with. But Nate wants to spice it up tonight. And I'm going to be taking the whole red team on a date tonight because I want to get to know you guys better. So you all can go to your rooms, get changed, and get ready for tonight. How do you guys feel? Yeah, how do you guys do? I, was just, I was just telling her right now that I'm like not nervous anymore. Yeah. Because like at first I had like butterflies in my stomach, uh -huh. but now I'm like okay. But I feel like since the next event is like elimination, it's like in the back of my mind. Yeah. It's like hard to get rid of that, you know? Yeah, I keep saying yeah. that I am nervous. Or yeah. it's gonna be so scary. Yeah. What's like mm -hmm. your guys' type in a guy? Ooh. Ooh. Good question. You should go first. Yeah, yeah you go first. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I like tall guys. Yes. Oh, yeah. I feel like that's, that's yes. Looking for us, like, yes, tall. I think I said that earlier, yeah. too, and I was like, oh, my God, thank God he's tall. Yeah, that's what I was from me. I was um, like, he's tall. Yes. I love curly hair. So, Nate's your type, because doesn't he have the like, curly hair? <laughs> I think I came in right at the right time. Nate's your type? That's what I heard? Okay, cool. Awkward. I didn't think we'd see you at all tonight. Yeah. Really yeah. Sad. Yeah. Yeah. I know, and that's why I wanted to come in because I felt, mm -hmm. you know, kind of felt bad. I wanted to make sure I got to talk to you guys before tonight's elimination. So yeah. I just have a clear head. I'm looking forward to getting to know these girls. So I think this will be a lot of fun. How's your day going? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? Yeah. 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 How did you? I mean, I'm I'm relieved that I finally got to meet all of you guys, honestly, because yeah. that yeah. was just like the. Like the anticipation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> anticipation. Um, was I a good surprise for you guys, or was it like? I was like yeah. definitely yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Okay. We, were, we, were I like, we were like yeah. all yeah. relieved when you walk in the room. We were like, oh my god, like yeah. thank God, he's like he looks That's, like exactly like that. Yeah. That's good because I didn't know if you guys knew who I was before coming on the show. Like, I like cool. recognized you from like a few things. <laughs> so like. What things? Um, like I like seen you like on. Like TikTok, only like, in the hype house, all that stuff. Yeah, I would say that. Any dance? Yeah, yeah, give us one. Yeah, can you? Yeah, give, give us one. I knew that was gonna come. I knew that was gonna come at one point. In the... Okay, if you guys do one, I'll do one. Teach us one. Yeah. Teach us one. Teach us a TikTok. That's what we're really doing right now. Yeah. We're learning, we're learning <laughs> TikToks. Let's do it. Oh my god. I don't have any music. What am I just gonna hit the whoa and then? We'll, to we'll okay. do it with you. Yeah. Okay, you do it first. Oh, me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, she's going for it. She's going for it. Where, where do I go? You can't ready. One, two, three. Hey, that was good, that was good, okay. Daniela is making a great first impression on me. It means a lot that someone can just get up there and you know be goofy and just have fun. I would love to do like a one-on-one -on -one with all of you guys, really. Yeah, thanks for coming in and asking yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of course, of course, I wanted to, of course, yeah. Well, have fun. Hey have fun on your date. Not too much fun, I'm kidding. <laughs> Nate, come take a seat. Like, I really don't want to eliminate any well, yeah. any of them yet because I haven't really got to like know them. Yeah, it's really hard. But you should get ready for your group date. Yeah, we were going to come yeah. grab you because we were like, oh. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I definitely got to like get ready for that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Are you That's overwhelming. Um, no, I'm not really nervous. On the group date, you can kind of try to like talk to them one on one. Yeah. yeah. Like together and then like talk to each one. Yeah, because I would just feel bad like sending one home before I like really got to mm -hmm. talk yeah. to them. Yeah, yeah. I know how you feel. All right, Nate, it's time for the group date. So why don't you head outside, oh, we're going outside. and okay. go see what it is. Maybe right. grab a jacket. A jacket? Yes. <laughs> well, hopefully the it's sweater's cold. not. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, fun. Are we eating dinner? Up. Oh. Who's ever made gingerbread so houses? Cute. I haven't in a really long time. I haven't actually. in a while, but I love <gasps> doing so cool. that. Oh, Does anyone know how to so actually do it? No, I think I, I, okay. We need them up. Yeah, I thought, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. You're doing great, sweetie. How is your skin? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait. Said, yeah, I like that. <laughs> Maybe you were supposed to like go <gasps> in like that. Oh. <laughs> No, nope, no, neither, no, neither big, no. an even bigger earthquake just happened. How do you think Nate's doing with the ladies? I think, Actually, I think I can answer my own question. I think he's a pro. I think he is a pro. Like, I think, he's, he, I think right. he's so social, like sociable. Like he's very like outgoing. It's very know. he's very easy to talk to. <laughs> Okay, let me, let me, let me like you look take your time. My door is a little like, slanted. Like, like, you should rate them. Rate them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> rate them. No, rate well, don't no get offended because mine's clearly a zero. So we have um, Santa's Clubhouse. Oh, Santa's Clubhouse. Yeah, Santa's Clubhouse. Um, so there's a secret passageway. You have to know the code. Give that one. <laughs> Give you don't that need to feel bad. Yes, Give that one. Right. <laughs> oh, right, right. Okay, then, sorry, then sorry. you no, have to be no. the winner because that okay. one is yeah, that like. One is so just okay, <laughs> well, since yeah. you won, I would like to kick off the night by talking to you. Okay. Oh. Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah. Oh, Rihanna had the best gingerbread house out of everybody. You want to go buy a fire with me? Yeah, okay. I would actually. Thank you. You're what welcome. a gentleman. <laughs> How is this whole experience for you, though? Yeah, so this is my first time ever even on a reality TV show, mm -hmm. so I didn't know, like, like a lot to expect. Mm -hmm. um, all I know is I am looking for 
like to, I'm looking for like someone, you know, especially like all my friends are in relationships and that's not mm -hmm. the only reason why I'm looking for someone. Mm -hmm. Like I miss that connection and that companionship of being with someone. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why, and it's kind of difficult to find someone in LA. I hate small talk. So when me and Nate start talking, I really like that it's not surface level. I think we communicate really well and he's easy to talk to. You like music? Oh my gosh, yes. Like, you know what my favorite thing is to do? What? Like, just sit in my room and like listen to music. Like just hello, do nothing hello. but like listen. Hey. I'm Hi. gonna join. Go for hey. it, go for it. How are we doing? Good. I'm way warmer over here. Oh wow, yeah. this feels lovely. Yeah. Like it feels better over here. Yeah. Oh do you want this God. blanket? Because I'm like, I'm Are so you warm. sure? Yeah, oh, go for it. it I know I'm supposed to be sharing my time with all the other girls right now, but I'm a little bummed because I am having a great conversation with Brianna. It's hard to have a type. Mm -hmm. you, it have, is you can have like things that you like, like you like tall guys or like guys with dark hair, but like type mm -hmm. like yeah. wise, like it's hard to pick. Like right. there's so many all different of a people. Sudden, somebody will come your way who you never thought you'd be interested in, but there's yeah. something about them that's so alluring. You're like, oh wow. I think Nate is super cute. He's tall, he's handsome. Hello. Hey. Hi everyone. Oh, oh, beautiful. I was just wondering if I can talk to Nate alone. Oh, for a little bit. I'll sure. give you your time okay. to the blanket Sorry. Too. Yes, yeah. okay. Um, a little bit about me. I'm just gonna like Yeah, that. Tell, tell me everything, yeah. <laughs> I, so I told you earlier, I moved to uh, LA like two and a half years ago and I was playing volleyball in college. Mm -hmm. And I was like doing that for a while, but then I got hurt really bad. And so I like sprained my ankle really bad. And before, like I played volleyball like my entire life. Like, professionally, so I just decided to stop playing like this, this and that. You know, not just like, oh like yeah, we're talking, but like I'm gonna go like, Honestly, I, I'm so lost right now. Like hard, like work into it, yeah. I guess. Hi. 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 Can I steal him from the oh, chat? Of course. <laughs> no. It was so nice talking to you. Yeah, it was so nice talking to you too. More time yeah, together. Of I'll come in soon. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Take it. Oh, okay. There's that. Thank you so much. It smells really good. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, like it's, it's nice and cozy. I know. I oh, know. perfect. <sighs> How's your experience been so far? Oh, it's been great. Yeah, oh my good. gosh, that's yeah. Good. Oh, you have really pretty eyes. Thank are they, you. Are they light green? They're like green. Green. Like okay, green. Some, well, it depends on like what I wear. You know yeah. what I mean? Gabby's energy is just infectious. Like, I could sit here and listen to her talk all day. Yeah. Does your parents uh, support you? Everything? Um, yeah. When I like book things, they they get very excited and like. That's awesome. My grandparents are actually my biggest supporters. Like. Honestly, looking back now, I realize how crazy it was. Like what I did, just like graduating high school and then just moving out here, driving across country. Like I commend you for doing that. Like. It was just such my passion, so I didn't think of it as being scary. I was like m so excited. Like mm -hmm. I didn't think of a plan B. It was just a plan A. You gotta have that mentality when you're passionate about something. Exactly, and you have to be confident. Like the minute you walk in the room, you're just like. All right, I'm here. Let me do. Let me do my thing. Yeah. You know what I mean. Hey, MVP. Oh my God. May I steal him? Yes, away from you can. Ayana, hey, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah. You literally killed it today. You are competitive. I, I saw that today, <laughs> which I love. All right, so I'm curious. So, what was your first impression of me? Well, well, first, I thought you were. I thought you were really pretty. Thank you. Like right off the bat. And it looked like you were having fun. Like when you walked in, it's like you kind of you kind of own the room a little bit. What was your first impression of me? That you were like. Champagne poppy. I loved Champagne your outfit, okay? Poppy. And like, I could tell that you like, like your love language is words of affirmation. Like you were waiting for that like applause. Like, yeah, I look good. So uh, ladies, where's the whoop? Oh my. Okay, if there wasn't any claps at all, I would've walked in and it just would've been awkward silence. Can you imagine? I'd be like, oh, okay, rough crowd. Oh right, my this goodness. Is go How was it growing up? Did you grow up in church? Did you not grow up in church? Or? I grew up in, yeah, I grew up in church. Really? I'm going every Sunday. My mom and grandma are very religious. Me and Kayana are having a great conversation. We're talking about church and like how we grew up. And what's interesting is I feel very comfortable around her. Church? church. Praise the Lord! Praise uh, the Lord! <laughs> Hallelujah! Uh, we just came over to tell you guys that it's time for elimination, so you guys need to go get ready for okay. it. <laughs> oh, God bless. But make sure you wear something cute. Okay. All right, so how was the date? The date was great. Honestly, I was surprised by a lot of the girls. I was really mm -hmm. surprised by a lot of the girls. Like a lot of them that I thought were more quiet were very open mm -hmm. and they opened up a lot and I got to know them really well with the little time that I got with them. I think I know who's going home tonight. <gasps> I don't even want to, I hate saying that this is so stressful. Oh. Uh. Vanessa and Veronica are really trying to prepare me right now, but like, how do you even prepare for breaking up with nine women? 
I think I know what I'm gonna do tonight. I think I know who I'm gonna send home. Sucks, I didn't get that much time. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Woo! Oh my gosh. Today was a great day. We got to see the girls' personality and some of their competitive spirit. I am so nervous to see who Nate is going to eliminate in the next episode. Yeah. Comment down below if you're team Spicy Mommies or team Nate's Angels. Make sure to stick around for the next episode. You're not going to want to miss it. All right, Nate, take it away. Today's group challenge is going to be a, a music, music video. The day was not my day. I have like right here. It's inevitable at this point. I'm in shock. We kissed. Hit the bell button to get notified when the next episode goes up. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to Austinist TV, subscribe to our channel, subscribe to Nate, follow him on TikTok, and we'll see you guys in the next episode of Twin My Heart. Bye! Bye. Welcome to season three of Twin My Heart! Season three! We're so happy and excited to introduce to you guys Nate Wyatt. Hello, sir. Nate's Angels! So Nate's your time. I think I came in right at the right time. I would like to kick off the night by talking to you. Am I worried? No. Because what is for me is for Welcome back to season three of Two in My Heart. If you haven't seen the first episode, make sure to watch so you're all caught up. I'm a little nervous about elimination tonight. I am so nervous staring at these women. Ladies, it's been such a fun day with you all. I hope you guys had fun. <laughs> so this is a dating show and unfortunately, Nate has to eliminate someone. There is going to be a bottom two and Nate will tell us those bottom two in a second. Just a reminder, Kayana is safe because she won MVP, so. <laughs> Okay, so first off, before I continue this and say who is unfortunately eliminated, um, I just want to say thank you all of you for coming out and taking a chance and doing this. The, today was so much fun, and this sucks. I'm not gonna lie, it's the first night. Um, but unfortunately, someone has to get eliminated. Um, so for my bottom two um, from the blue team, uh, Blanca. I just feel, I felt like when I went up there to talk to everyone, it, it just took a while for you to like speak up a little bit. And the next person in my bottom two was actually from the group date, um, cause I did get to know you guys a little bit and I already caught a vibe. Um, Olivia. This ain't easy guys. Uh, uh, yeah, we had a great conversation. Um, I feel like I couldn't, Talk. I, I didn't get a chance to like really open up to you a lot as much as like I wanted to. But I, again, you're were, you were super sweet. Everyone was super sweet. With that in mind, who I am eliminating is Olivia. It's okay. <laughs> I totally respect your decision 100%. So I'm sorry I didn't go any other way, but I wish you the best of luck. I feel bad because we didn't get a, a lot of, I, I feel, I, I already feel bad because I didn't get a lot of time with you guys already and I already had to make this quick decision. Um, but I just feel like we weren't a match. That's okay, that's totally fine. No, seriously, no hard feelings. So sorry. No, it's totally okay. I wish you the best of luck, good luck. Thank no, you. you'll have, you'll, you'll find one. We'll Thank you. Bye, baby. Bye. 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 I wish you the best. Oh, I know, guys, good luck. Have fun. I know, I'm so happy I met everyone. Bye, Bye. 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 Blanca, with that said, I didn't get to honestly talk to any of the girls that were on the blue team. So tomorrow, I would love to be able to talk to you guys more, and tomorrow's gonna be fun, so. Blanca, that means you are safe. You can step back with the rest you of the group. You are safe. <laughs> All right, ladies, it is time for you to go back to your room, so make sure you get lots of sleep and bring your moves for tomorrow. Your moves, oh yeah. <laughs> we're gonna bust down, right? Yeah, that's, oh, that's all we're gonna say. 
Okay, just That's bring the your hint moves. you get. That's the hint. <laughs> all right, good night, ladies. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. You all look beautiful. Yeah. You really do. Like, let me start. You guys look amazing. I'm, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Oh. He literally walked in and was like, oh my god. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So today is a new day. Last night, Nate survived his first elimination ceremony. Nate was super nervous, but I don't blame him because it's so hard to eliminate someone. Yeah, so hard. Yeah. Thankfully, Nate can relax a bit today because we have a challenge for him that's right up his alley. A challenge that involves music and dancing. I hope that in today's challenge, the girls' personalities will come out and like shine through. Yeah, and I think we need to tell them that they need to fight for Nate because right now, no one is really fighting for him or talking to him. Like, this is a dating show. It's a competition. You can't wait for the guy to come up to you. You have to go to him. Exactly. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I hope you girls slept good last night and got some rest. We told you last night that we're going to be doing some moves and stuff. Yeah, so today is going to give you guys an opportunity to show your personalities, be the girl bosses that you are. So make sure you are 100% yourself and don't be afraid to get in there and you know do your best. Today's group challenge is going to be a, a music, music video. video. Oh, wow. <laughs> Your girls heard that like, college cheerleaders, aerialists, actual dancers. I'm just here like, I'm gonna try to have fun and like get the moves right if I can. But right before the Meryl Twins announced that we were dancing, I was telling Monica that if there was a dancing ball, I'd probably pass out because I have like two left feet. I'm such a bad dancer. This is what I do, this is my world. I've been in so many music videos, so I'm interested to see how the girls shine in the spotlight and you know, how they do stepping into my world. Hey, oh they're running, oh they're really excited. Are you ladies ready to meet your choreographers? Yes! <laughs> Introducing Tina and Tara. <laughs> Come over here, spread out. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay. So the girls are dancing to a song called Blow Your Mind by Dua Lipa, and it's a song about girl power and just being yourself, and I just really love that message. All right, so to start, you're gonna be holding five, six, seven. You're gonna snap and hit whatever you want on eight. It can look however you want. Eight, eight. Yes, sass it up. Here we go. Our choreography is starting like boom. So we're coming out strong. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling empowered. We're going up, you know, we hit it again, you know, my hips are swerving. I'm feeling like Beyonce at this point, okay? I am a dancer, I love to dance. I know mainly more like the Latin dances, so like salsa, merengue, cumbia, samba, like all of those. Hip hop, I'm like a little bit like so-so, but I'm definitely feeling like I got this. One, two, we pop it, three, and a four, point five, and a six, and a seven, whack, good. Even though I am a cheerleader, this was still a little bit challenging for me. I'm definitely used to learning dances really quickly, but there's definitely a difference between hip hop dance and cheer dance, and this is definitely on the hip hop side. Yeah, I don't think you guys really need me. I'm gonna step this one out. I'll be over here. I'll be your guys' biggest cheerleader, though. Yeah. I love to dance, don't get me wrong. Uh, today was not my day. I could knock down the hoops. I kept forgetting the hair flip was just not working for me. The hair was like flying in my face and have a hair tie. And altogether, I think it was like a complete fail. But I am trying my best, so I hope Nate notices that in me. Ladies, you're doing great. Oh, now there's music. Oh, here we go. This is the, this is, this is the test. Hey! Gabby is killing it. There's so much energy. I like. I love her energy. Gabby is killing it. She's super bubbly, super helpful to anyone, and so that was like really nice to be around. That's the end. You guys just learned the whole thing. Everyone, clap for yourself. All right, ladies, you guys look so good. It's time to head back inside so we can shoot the music video. Let's go. So we just got finished with the choreography. I'm really, really nervous for this music video. I'm hoping I don't make a fool of myself in front of Nate. Doing a solo and then a group in front of everybody. It's really nerve wracking. Well, as I enter the garage, we see like the neon lights, the fog machine. It's like super music video vibes. And then they were like, Gabby, you're gonna do it first. And I'm like,
right off the bat, Gabby is killing it. She is learning the moves like that. She is super enthusiastic and it shows. Gabby's killing it, Rebecca's killing it. She dropped down in the split. I don't feel like I belong there. Even though Brianna is so nervous, she's trying her best and that's attractive to me. I'm not gonna lie, I did think there was gonna be at least one girl that shied away and did not do the dance for the music video. And I'm pleasantly surprised they're all going for it. I love that these girls are getting out of their comfort zone. That's important to me. and then it's just me and Nate. Things started to heat up. There could have been a moment where we kissed. I think that I was pulling back a little bit. Not that I didn't want to, it's just maybe I got a little shy because I knew like maybe it could have happened. I feel like so nervous because I have to dance with Nate like by myself. Yo, Daniela is killing it. Mama's is sexy. That's all I gotta say. This is the first time I have him like right here. So I'm just like, oh my God, I have him super close. And oh my God, his eyes are like twinkling. <laughs> I'm dancing, I see like little looks from Nate, and I was like, oh, like, he's watching. I don't know what he's thinking. Look at it! We did it! All right, we're good to go. We're good to go, Aaron, and you can stay here, and then I'm gonna bring in Nate. Oh. Tonight, I'm alive in a dollar sign, guaranteed I can blow your mind. Tonight, I'm alive in a dollar sign, guaranteed I can blow your mind. Um, I don't know if it's the fog machine, but things are getting really steamy between Aaron and Nate. Our faces are getting close. I'm teasing her for the music video. It's inevitable at this point. If you like the way I talk, then why am I on your mind? If you like the way I rock, then finish your glass of wine. We fight and we argue, you'll still love me blind. If we don't get this whole thing up, guaranteed I can blow your mind. And tonight I'm alive in a dollar sign, guaranteed I can blow your mind. That was such a fun group challenge. That was. That yeah. Was. Nate. <laughs> Nate. <laughs> um, I loved it. I mean, I love how the girls just gave their best effort. They were all so nervous, which was cute. Um, but yeah, they just put their best effort forward, so that's all I cared about. Wait, I have a question. Did you kiss Aaron because you wanted to, or did you do it for the music video? I. No. I, I kissed Aaron because I wanted to. <laughs> Okay, yeah. okay, okay. There's okay, okay. there's just so much like tension and and yeah, it was gonna happen. Yeah, it was, we could it was all, bound it to was happen. Bound we to could happen. It was bound to happen. We could feel it in the room. All of us were like, like, <laughs> like how did you expect me not to, honestly? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. She okay. is really pretty. Um, now, remember this is different from yesterday. You have to pick someone who won your heart and you're going to take that person on the one-on-one -on -one date. Oh. Who won my heart? Okay, ladies, that was so much fun. You guys all did amazing. You all looked beautiful. I know. <laughs> now, after the group challenge, Nate is going to pick an MVP, and he's also going to pick someone who won his heart, and that person is going to go on the one-on-one -on -one date with him tonight. And just a reminder, MVP is safe from eliminations. I'm really hoping that I get MVP, but if I don't get MVP, I hope I get like the one-on-one date. Up to take him out on a date. First off, you guys did amazing. Like, <laughs> even though I know some of you guys were nervous, like, you still went for it and you guys killed it. With that being said, my MVP is. Brianna. <laughs> because, because I know you were anxious and I know you were nervous, but you still, you still did it and I thought you killed it. So, Thank you. yeah, you're my so MVP. Nice. I'm shocked that I got MVP, but uh, that doesn't take away that I'm super excited. I don't have to worry about going home tonight, so I'm definitely not complaining about it. I'm so surprised that Nate chose 
Brianna as MVP. I am happy for sis, okay? But I only remember seeing Gabby energetic. She was in there working hard, sis was sweating. I was kind of unsure if he was gonna give me MVP or not. I thought it was a possibility. I feel safe at this point, so I don't care. I didn't know how this challenge was going to go, but it went really well. The girls really shined through, all of them did. And I feel like they're all vibing with Nate and they're like just putting it out there and they just look super like confident and I love it. I wonder who Nate is going to pick for the one-on-one -on -one date. I don't know. Stay tuned for the next episode of Twin My Heart. The woman that won my heart was... Laser tag! Let's go! I already knew Nate. I don't know if I'm fully ready for something right now. I just didn't feel like it was a match between us. Wait, what's going on? Comment down below your favorite girl power song. Make sure to hit the bell button to get notified when the next episode comes out. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Mm-mm, don't wanna miss it. Mm -mm. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to Nate's channel as well, and follow him on TikTok. Subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Wow. I'm pleasantly surprised they're all going for it. But I'm definitely feeling like I got this. Let's go. This is a competition. You gotta get in there. Gabby, you're gonna do it first. You know what I'm saying? Gabby is killing it. Mama's is sexy. Things are getting really steamy between Aaron and Nate. Oh, who won my heart? to season three of Twin My Heart. If you haven't watched the last episode, it was really steamy, so make sure to go watch it. <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna miss that. <laughs> okay, ladies, now Nate is going to pick someone who won his heart, and that person is going to go on the one-on-one -on -one date with him tonight. First off, you guys did amazing. Like, even though I know some of you guys were nervous, like, you still went for it, and you guys killed it. The woman that won my heart was Daniela. I am so excited because finally I get to talk to him. I am hoping it's a horseback riding date because that would be so cute. So we'll be going on a one-on-one -on -one date and I hope you'll go with me. Of course, I'm excited. I'm excited too. <laughs> All right, so with that being said, Daniela, you can go get ready for your one-on-one -on -one date and so can you. Awesome. All right. Today I'm sitting around and kind of just dawned on me a little bit that I don't know necessarily if it's the best um, environment for me to, to find love in the best time in my life. I'm still trying to figure out what it is that I am looking for. It's very cool. Can you come in? Yeah, is that oh, okay? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to be fully, fully transparent. Um, I haven't been in a relationship in a while. I don't know if I'm fully ready for something right now. I think you're yeah. super cool. I don't feel like this is the right type of thing for me. I respect your decision. This is not easy, and if you're not ready for this, you're not ready for this, you know? I'm glad she's doing what's best for her. Thanks for me taking the time to figure out what it is that I want and what it is that I need. Trust your bed, trust your heart, because it doesn't lie. Thank you. Good luck with everything. Same to Thank you. you for being honest. A hundred percent. Appreciate that. Thanks. You have a good one. You too. Bye. So, I don't know if you guys know what happened. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? What's Sophia is leaving? I just asked going forward if you guys also feel the same way that she does, that you guys are just honest and you tell me. I'm starting to realize that some of these girls are a little shy, so I'm gonna take the initiative and pull them aside to get to know them a little better. Tell me a little bit about yourself, since we're here. 
Let me get to know you. Yeah. <laughs> Should we do like, like the never have I ever here? <laughs> never have, okay. We can do that. Do you wanna do that? Are you good at never have I ever questions? No, I'm actually not. I am, so I can never like think of questions like I right off the either. bat. What's your type? I don't, vibes, honestly. I just, yeah. I don't really have a type because I, when I've dated in the past, it's just been uh, different looks and everything. And it just comes down to uh, vibing with the girl. Yeah, I totally um, agree. Yeah, like I like certain qualities, but mm -hmm. that doesn't depict like who I want to date. Yeah. Because for me, it's always like, do I feel comfortable with this person? Mm -hmm. Like, am I like my true honest self with them, you mm -hmm. know? And I feel like that's really what matters. Like, it doesn't really matter like looks wise, but personality and if you can really like vibe and connect with someone. Okay, this is actually something I wanted to talk to you guys about. Yeah. Um, so, I already knew Nate. Like before mm -hmm. this? Yes. How did you already know him? Uh, good question. <laughs> I, so, I've been, so I was waiting to tell everybody until I got to talk to him about it, because we haven't got to have a conversation yet. And I wanted all of you guys to talk to him first, because you know you guys don't know him. But I, we're like friends, like I know him already um, outside of the show. And I've known him for a little while now, yeah. Nate and Aaron knowing each other was definitely unexpected. When I signed up for this, I did not know it was him. Did you guys talk about it before? Like that you guys were gonna be um, on this together? Or that you were gonna be on this? No, not really. It was like, we just kinda like, we're like, oh, hi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It definitely makes me nervous. It definitely makes me scared, I feel like. She is someone to watch out for. Have you guys experienced any more physical touchness yeah. before the show? Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Just spill a little bit, too. You don't have to spill it all. Okay, like, I'll spill a little. So, okay. I, You're gonna see it anyways, but he did kiss me during the music video. Oh, oh, okay. So you're gonna see it and I don't wanna yeah. come off like okay. I'm lying, but yeah. I just, yeah. I had to share. What? What just happened? We all have the same face looking at each other, but I think all of us on the inside are thinking like, wow, like, I wish that was me. All the secrets are out, so I don't really have any more. That was, I promise that's it. That was the only secret. Okay, so for Nate and Daniela's one-on-one -on -one date, we thought it would be really cute if they played laser tag. What? We're playing laser tag? Are you good at laser tag? No, but I'm about to be. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get you? I think so. Let's go! No. I'm a sharpshooter over here. <laughs> You're not supposed to run at me with a gun. I didn't know how laser tag would go because you have to be kind of far away from each other and not close, but they're really hitting it off. They're teasing each other. They're cracking jokes. Even from a distance. It's so cute. I'm, I'm obsessed with this date. Oh, crap, I'm out of ammo! Yes! No, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. What? <laughs> oh my Ooh. god, I got stuck. Okay. I know, so Dad, watch out for that. Am I out? I can't tell. <laughs> Did I get you? Oh my god. One more life. One more life. One more life. You're, You're dead. I killed uh, you. That was a little workout. Yeah, you did yeah. move. That was like intense a little bit. That was intense. All right, well that was so fun to that watch. That was so much fun. That was so We much actually fun. have a little surprise for you guys up there. So yeah. if you guys want to head up there, you guys surprise. can go. That was a surprise. Oh. This is a talk. great surprise. Okay. So, okay. I know, this was really cool. Yeah, this I'm happy so I got fun. to do my first time with you. Oh, oh my God, that was so sweet. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of flirting going on, I feel. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I had a great time playing laser tag with Daniela, and before we go inside, I want to talk to her alone before the possibility of another girl interrupting. Well, what made you just like decide that, okay, I'm gonna do this? Well, first of all, I've been single for like a while. Okay, how long? So, how long's a while? A little bit over a year, okay. maybe almost two, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, somewhere around there. So I was like, why not? Yeah. You know, get to meet someone new. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, he's as special as like I want you to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want me to be? Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm getting to know you, right? Yeah. So yeah. like, I don't know. That was so sweet. <laughs> that was really sweet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So like, what are you looking like for a girl? Like, what do you want? Well, 
I know you a little bit, but I already like all of your characteristics. Wait, um, really? Yeah, I do. And I think we vibe really well. I think it's my dancing. You like my dancing. I love your dancing. <laughs> I'm not even going to like lie. I saw you dance and I was like, wow, she's hot. I was like, I'm just going to be completely honest. Like your dancing is super attractive and I love that you can salsa. How do you actually say salsa? Sal salsa? Well, sal it, What's like the, Spanish is like yeah. salsa. Yeah, that's really cute. And you can speak Spanish too. Can yeah, you? it's something. actually my first language. Is it? Yeah. Say something in Spanish. ¿Te gustaría bailar conmigo? Yeah, I'm melting. <laughs> I'm melting. I'm... What'd you say? Uh, do you want to dance with me? I would love to dance do with you. Do you want to dance with me? I totally would dance Is with you. Is there any way we can like get music going? Okay, so first thing you do, you want to go side. Was this bachata? Oh, do, are we doing bachata first? Yeah, you can. Right. Think I, let me see if I got that down. So I know. I've never done like partner you bachata. You have it? No. Really? Yeah, I always kind of just like dance it like by myself. Okay. Hey. We got it. Are you going to add like a little like yep. spin? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I might know what I'm doing a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> okay. This is fun. Wow, well, I've never danced with someone that actually knows how to bachata. Wait, really? Yeah, not at all. Well, right. this is a first for both of us. There you go. We're killing it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I almost lost it. I'm happy that you like to dance because, like, I love to dance. Oh, I love dancing. So, like, I love dancing. Me and you are gonna be going dancing a oh, lot. Oh hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> this day was fun. It was. Yeah. And it was I, like I said before, um, I think we'll definitely go on a second date. I think so too. Well, I hope so. I think we will. Dang, now I actually so, really want to kiss you. you can go. Now I really like <laughs> actually want to. Not yet. Not. Oh, I like that. I respect yeah, that. I respect that. I don't that. do kisses on the first date. I respect that. I respect that. Thank you. But I'll do on the cheek. I can't do it. I really wanted to, but I just can't. Dang, I respect that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank I you. I actually really respect that. Here, hold my hand. This I will do. Yes. Good overall, and well, she's. What do you What do you mean? No, no, she was great. She is amazing. Like we vibed well. She was awesome. Um, so at the end, we like gave a kiss on the cheek, on the cheek, and then I said, I said, wow, I really want to kiss you now, because. Okay, first off, I thought, I thought, <sighs> America's gonna hate me. <laughs> I thought we were going in for a kiss, and I wasn't going into the date thinking. I'm gonna kiss this girl. I just wanted to vibe with her. Like I usually don't. I usually don't kiss on the first date, but I got the wrong impression. Uh, I am so in my head right now. Like I, I'm thinking a lot, and I'm about to go into eliminations. I don't know what to do. Now it's elimination time. You're supposed to eliminate two people tonight, and one of them's already gone. Thank God. I'm gonna <laughs> eliminate one. Like two. I just don't even know. Like. So now it's time for Nate to choose who he's going to eliminate. Literally the worst part of the show. All right, so it is that time of the night where we're here for eliminations. Today was super fun making the music video. It turned out so cute and you all looked beautiful and your personalities came through. As a reminder, Brianna, you are the MVP, which means you are safe from eliminations tonight. <laughs> Two people were actually supposed to go home today, but since Sophia eliminated herself, that means only one of you will be going home. So with that being said. Okay. So my bottom two, this person, I just feel like I, I got to know you a little bit on the first day, but on the second day, I wasn't really able to talk to you and get to know you a little bit more and progress like I did with some of the other girls. Um, so, Kayana, one. I'm being way too nice. I should have got my one-on-one -on -one with Nate today, but I didn't, so uh, look where I'm at. Bottom two? What? For the second, my bottom two, um, Blanca. You know, I just, I feel like I need to stay true to myself. And Kiana, we had a great conversation in the beginning. But Blanca, I feel like we talked and I just, 
didn't feel the connection on my side. So, I'm sorry, Blanca, but it's not a match. No, it's okay, I understand. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, so Kayana, that means you are safe and you can join the girls. Thank you. Tomorrow's a new day, and with that being said, I'm going for what I want. I, I feel terrible. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm, you're an amazing girl. Thank you. And I'm sorry that it had to end this way. And okay. I wish you the. I totally understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish you the best of luck Thank with you. everything. Thank you. And you're amazing. So, <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. It's okay. I get it. You know, while I enjoyed my conversation with Blanca earlier, right now I'm just trying to follow my heart and I know that I have a better connection with some of the other girls here. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you. Likewise with you too. <laughs> I understand that we don't have very much time here and it's really difficult to get to know someone in this type of setting. Maybe it's not here that I find who I end up with, but you know that person's going to come eventually. <sighs> well, you ladies can head back to the house, but before that, I want to give you a little hint about tomorrow. Get ready to look back into your past. Oh. <laughs> That's all we're gonna give you, but yeah, y'all can head back to the house, and hope you guys have a great night. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next episode of Twin My Heart. Wow, the tea was spilt. I feel very honored that all these girls are opening up to me. Some of the girls have some things planned, but I can't share that right now. I didn't think this was gonna hit so hard. It was like a switch where he became like a different person. I was like, what? <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to Nate, follow him on TikTok, subscribe to our channel while you're at it. Also, hit the bell button to get notified when the next episode comes out because you won't want to miss it. Mm -mm. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Are you done? Uh, right time? It hurts. It I'm hurts. sorry. Oh. No! Oh. And now you have three lives again. Alrighty. You know what? I'll give you that. I'll okay, give you that because you. you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. The woman that won my heart was Daniela. I am so excited. Let's go! Yeah, I'm melting. <laughs> I'm melting. I already knew Nate. Wait, what's going on? I don't know if I'm fully ready for something right now. Uh... I'm sorry, Blanca, but it's not a match. Hey guys, welcome back to season three of Twin My Heart. If you haven't watched the last episode, make sure to watch it so you're all caught up. Last night after eliminations, the girls and Nate just hung around and I feel like everyone is starting to open up and get comfortable around each other. I know some of the girls have some things planned, but can't share that right now. What's up everybody, good morning. I feel like after last night, I got a lot of clarity and I'm excited to see what this next day has in store. Hi, good morning everyone. Hi. Sorry to interrupt, I feel like you guys are having a good conversation. Um, but are you girls ready for today's challenge? Yes. So, today's challenge is called Look back to leap forward. Oh. Okay. What so, was that? Was everyone's like, oh. We'll be handing you guys some journals and you guys are gonna be writing letters to your younger self. Oh. And then on the other side, you guys can write some goals that you have for your future self. Yeah, because we've learned that when you write your goals down, um, it's easier for you to accomplish them. So we're trying to help you out. Hopefully this challenge will allow Nate to really get to know the girls on a deeper and more intimate level than what he's already gotten to know. If I could write a letter to myself, there's so many things that I would say. What would you say? Well, I gotta think about it. <laughs> Honestly, I think I would probably write to my younger self. Mm, start YouTube earlier. Yes, that. <laughs> we'll hand you guys the journals and you guys can go anywhere in the house and just start writing. Woo! Okay, I've never done it. All right, let's go. I feel inspired writing to my past self because 
even though everyone, you know, you make mistakes, you, you know, you don't do everything the right way. I feel like I wouldn't change anything because I, I'm glad I wear that now and everything I've learned from my past self. Where I am now, I'm a lot happier. So I think writing to my future self will be a lot easier. I don't know what to write. Yeah, like I'm stuck right now. I think I got like good stuff, but like I'm not done yet. I think I'm thinking a lot about like my grandma. And it's been a little bit over a year <sighs> since I lost her. And it's just, <sighs> I don't know. With like everything going on in the world, it's made me like really think about like how valuable every moment is not to take advantage of anything. Yeah. She's my only grandparent too, so yeah, it was hard, <laughs> hard losing her for sure. I think what comes to mind first is kind of just telling myself like my goals um, because I think growing up I had so many dreams and so many things I wanted to do that over time I think I kind of forgot about. So I'm telling myself, don't stop um, doing what you wanted to do to start off with. I started with my younger self. Um, I pretty much just told myself, little grasshopper, life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. And that I love her and I'm proud of her. And for her to keep marching to the beat of her own drum always and forever. Hey. Oh, hi. I thought I'm hearing crying. I'm like, what is going on? Uh, sorry. What's I didn't wrong? think this was gonna like hit so hard. It just brought back, I guess, memories growing up. My mom was sick. Mm -hmm. um, it happened like right after I was born. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the times she wasn't there. Mm -hmm. She was always um, in and out. Because um, obviously my dad had to send her to Mexico to go get help. Then she sent her to Venezuela. Then she sent her to Texas. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it was like my mom was just like in and out. But I'm happy we're doing this, I guess. Got to release some, I guess, something I had in there. Yeah, that's good. And thank you for coming to talk to me. Of course, me. I like That I means heard, a lot. Yeah, it really I was crying and I was like, I was like, no, what's going on? <laughs> okay, well, like, I'll let you get back to where I go. Thank you. And I hope you can find something to write about. I'm trying over there. I'm trying. How are you, I'm, Nathaniel? I'm good. Okay, you're the only one that's allowed to call me Nathaniel. <laughs> I remember, like, my first love, I thought that was going to be, like, forever. And then I moved states. And then um, I met another guy, I thought that was going to be forever. It lasted six years, so oh, wow. almost. Okay. Um, and then I tried to have like, you know, friends with benefits thing. I'm not that type of person. I'm yeah. just selfish for that. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I, I, um, I just told myself like, just take it one step at a time. Don't just live in the moment. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Um, and learn from your mistakes. Like, in the sense that like, know your worth. And then I told my future self. Also told her, know your worth. Uh -huh. Know yourself. Because Drake, you know. Know your worth. Love him. Yeah. He reminds yeah. me. Yeah. yeah, I love Drake. Oh my gosh. He has so much inspiration. I did Kayana and each day I find myself wanting to learn more about it. Do you mind if I interrupt? No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're writing, writing. Uh, so I haven't gotten to like goals for the future yet. Mm -hmm. um, those are a little bit easier for me, but thinking about the past, um, I kind of came up with like, where do I even begin? You've done so much in your life already, but you have so many exciting, fun, amazing things on the way. And trust me when I say you're never going to see some of these things coming. So here's a list of tips I've picked up along the way so far. Follow your dreams and go after your passions. Never stop working hard. Uh, relationships are everything. Keep in touch with people and value every single one. Never stop smiling and never lose your confidence. Don't let what others say about you get to you. People will, be, uh, people will come and go and that's okay. It's okay not to be friends with everyone. Friends come and go too, and you'll know who your true friends are in the end. Don't be afraid to take chances and savor every moment you get with the people you love, and don't let anyone tell you you can't do something. Wow. I feel very honored that all these girls are opening up to me, and it's also giving me the chance to open up to them. How about you, Witter? Some goals for the future, or some, some things goals for looking the future. back? Um, just to keep uh, goals for the future. To keep following like what I want to do, like my passions, yeah, yeah. and um, 
not giving up. Like one of my main things I would say to myself, it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Mm -hmm. um, so everything happens when it's supposed to happen. Right. Give me a hug. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I definitely have. <laughs> oh, hugs help. Yeah, yeah. for real. Middle school, I was bullied a lot. Um, I remember there was like a group picture of all of us. Me and like my so-called friends and they like basically crossed my face out. I remember saying that and I was like, oh God. I was this very insecure girl who put such gravity on what people thought of me or what I thought people thought of me. Hello. Hey. <laughs> you look great. Oh, thank you. I love you. this outfit. Kind of matching. <laughs> oh yeah, we are. Oh wow, we are. <laughs> I wasn't very excited about doing this because I think, like, I don't want to revisit things. Like, okay, I did not fair. like my past self. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that I still struggle with today. It's like very hard for me to live in the moment. And yeah. if you fail, it's like, it happened for a reason. I, tr I believe that 100%. <laughs> you know. Everything happens for a reason. Even though at the time it might not feel like that. Yeah. I, I always do that I was meant for something greater, mm -hmm. regardless of what people would tell me and stuff. Because yeah. I kind of got made fun of. Because back then, like the entertainment route and stuff like that, like social media and everything, it wasn't popular. Yeah. So I get made fun of for it. I actually like have a tattoo that I got by like staying strong, um, and it's. It says "Courage Your Heart." Oh wow! And it's like a, it's from Narnia. I, which, <laughs> uh, yeah, I really love Narnia. <laughs> I think everyone builds their strength, but just like everyone has a different timeline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you were strong, <laughs> and I love that. Well, thank you for sharing with me yeah. and opening up. Yeah. I feel like I learned a lot more about you. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Of course. So his love language is physical touch. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> also, like, you like, you know, really. Erin like, spilled tea. She said that's his, his love language. But how does she know? Oh, okay, so she spilled tea. Okay, oh, when you were God. on your date, uh. she came and she told all the girls. <laughs> so she's known him prior to this whole experience. Oh. And they kissed <laughs> as well. So, <laughs> yeah. Wait, you're lying. No, I swear. I'm proud that you didn't kiss him. Did she told us, like, they kissed after the oh. little dance thing yesterday. Because she got to, she was in my group. She got to stay behind. And so like they shared a moment. If it didn't work out the first time, like why are you here trying again for the second time? Mm, does that make sense? That, that does, that's a valid point. You know, like let's say like they were something mm -hmm. and like- Why they, didn't it go further? Why didn't it go further? Exactly, like why didn't it go further? Like what mm. happened, you know? Yeah, that's a yeah. valid point to make. Yeah, so. Hi. Hi. Here goes Aaron. Speaking of a dumb. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> So you weren't here, um, you were on your date when I got to talk to the other girls, okay. but I got to fill everybody in um, that I have known Nate prior to coming on the show. Mm -hmm. um, so we were friends before. Um, I didn't know it was him when I applied or anything, but, um, and I wanted to talk to him first. That's why I waited to tell you guys, because I hadn't got to have that conversation um, with him, mm -hmm. but we, did, so then now I wanted to, you know, like let all the girls know. Okay, well I appreciate that. Thank yeah. you for being honest. Yeah, of course. Hey. Hi. What age are you writing to right now? Before like 10. Don't care about other people's opinions and never be basic. <laughs> Always be genuine to yourself and others and keep doing you. You're amazing. I think I, you're amazing. Thank you. I think we have like a lot of the similar interests and I like that. Yeah. I dealt with a lot growing up. So I'm, I'm a little nervous because I know I'm gonna cry. I'm like writing a letter um, to my 12 year old self. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, and that was the, really the hardest moment like um, of my life. Mm -hmm. um, like that was when like my parents got divorced. It was just like a lot of stress, um, but like, I'm just like really proud of like where I like where I am today. You yeah. know, like I'm. Which you should be. Exactly, because it's like when you're 12 years old, like you're like in middle school. Like yeah. people are awful. So for those of you who have gone through a divorce, like your parents splitting up, I just want to say like it does get better. Like it took me a long time to like get over it, but like I'm here now, and I'm so grateful for what I have. Just stay strong, find an outlet. I found theater, it really saved my life. So find whatever you can.
I'm really happy that the girls opened up. Being vulnerable is not easy. <laughs> Thanks for yeah, guys. staying out here. <laughs> I know it's hot out. Watching us, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you need to have a strong foundation in your relationship and then have your kids. I want to be married for like quite a few years. Like I want to enjoy my husband like before. Kids, yeah. At the table, they started talking about babies and I thought it was the perfect time just for me to bring up my situation. <gasps> you have a baby? I didn't tell you either? No! Talk to me about your baby. Yeah, okay, you should I? Okay. Yes, you should, yes. Okay, so I met him when I was 18 and then I think we were together for like a year and a half before I got pregnant. But I was like, I want to keep it. And he was like so down for it. Like we were like at that point, like we were in a good place with yeah. our relationship. Mm -hmm. So um, I had her, but like the whole relationship, he was really like when, he, when the day that he found out I was pregnant. Like I think the whole relationship went downhill. Like yeah. he wanted it so bad, yeah. right? Uh -huh. But like once it became like a reality, and it's like yes. it's happening. Yes, he like he be like it was like a switch where he became like a different person, mm -hmm. completely different. It's really nice that Brianna is opening up about her baby and kind of sharing her past with us. I feel like it's a big part of what makes her her, and she's grown a lot since then. And so it was really nice to see like how that experience has turned her into the person she is today. But I think now I'm better. Like uh, me yeah. and my daughter, we're so good. That's how and old is she? she's two. She actually Aww. just turned two. Oh, that's so cute. So, Isabella. Aww. We call her Izzy, oh, or you can call her Bella. So, do you have an idea who you're going to pick for MVP? Yes. This girl opened up to me. She was very vulnerable, and I could relate to her situation. And then, do you have an idea of who you want to take on the one on one date with? Yes. This girl. I really vibe with a lot, like a lot, okay. and I've been wanting to take her on a one-on-one -on -one date, so I think it's time that that happens. Ooh, okay. you've been vibing with so many girls, I'm so I curious know, I, to know. I know. Well, okay. you'll know in just a little bit. All right, let's, All right, go, well, let's, let's go. go, let's, let's go. Let's do it. it. So now it is time for Nate to decide who the MVP is and who he's going to be taking on the one-on-one -on -one date. Um, just a reminder, the MVP is safe from eliminations. So with that said, um, this person for the MVP really opened up to me, um, was extremely vulnerable, and that said, Daniela, you are my MVP of this. I did not write much on this at all, but I knew I should not have left this out because the producers are now making me read it to you guys. I was, I think I was, for a while, now I see why the girls cried. Um, just from a young age, there was just something in my gut that just told me I was gonna do something great one day. I feel like this is a little cliche, but I really just want kids to know that it, um, that, uh, I don't know why I'm crying. That it doesn't matter, like, what you're not bringing it. I need a tissue. Or... Right. That it doesn't matter where you're from, what your family life is like, who believes in you, and who, do, and who doesn't believe in you. If you believe in yourself and you're passionate about something, then pursue, pursue that. Because that's what I did, and that's what I'm doing. I want people to know my story so that they can see that they also can do it. I feel like it's a cliche, but you can do whatever you put your mind to. You can do whatever you're passionate about. You just gotta go for it. It's so important to reflect on the past because you can learn so much from your past mistakes or just things that have happened and you can grow from that. In a relationship, if someone isn't open about their past, how are you supposed to really get to know them? Yeah, experiences make us who we are. Comment down below what advice you would tell your younger self. Make sure to tune in to the next episode of Twin My Heart. Skinny dipping? This early on? So like, I have a baby. What is he doing? Is he gonna eliminate her? Ah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous to do this. What is going on? They've been outside forever. Okay, so we're all good, now we can breathe. You won't want to miss out on the next episode, so make sure you hit the bell button to get notified when it comes out. Also, give this video a like. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to our channel, subscribe to Nate, follow him on TikTok, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. I'm sorry the Merrills put you through that, honestly. <laughs> so with that said, though, I want to hear your guys's. Oh, gosh. Oh.
<laughs> oh my gosh. I said, hello, younger self. This is my advice to you. Always trust your shoe game. I'm dead. Oh, so yours is funny. Is this <laughs> wear whatever you want to wear. You can actually draw if you try, and you're good at painting. Finish learning how to play Claire de Lune sooner and <laughs> memorize it better and get a white gaming chair or you'll regret it. <laughs> <laughs> I, right, love well, it. I was not expecting oh that. God. Mine is very short. I only have three lines. Four, actually. Dear Veronica, you don't have horrible handwriting, even though I do, but I'm trying to tell myself <laughs> I'm not. Stop overthinking things. <laughs> and then uh, you have anxiety. That should explain a lot. <laughs> oh, my oh, my oh my God. Oh my God. Today's challenge is called Look Back to Leap Forward. Oh. Oh. I didn't think this was gonna like hit so hard. The day that he found out I was pregnant, like I think the whole relationship went downhill. So she's known him prior to this whole experience. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, this is heavy. Like this is an emotional day for everyone. Hey, give me a hug. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Daniela, you are my MVP. Welcome back to season three of Twin My Heart. If you haven't watched the last episode, make sure to watch it. It is very emotional. Lots of things happen, so make sure you're caught up before you watch this episode. The person who won my heart um, is someone that I want to get to know a little bit better um, that I haven't gotten to yet, and uh, someone that I think I've been vibing with, and that is Brianna. Hey, so we'll be going on a date. Okay. If All that's right. okay with you. Oh, it's definitely okay with me. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so that means you both can go get ready for your one-on-one -on -one date. Okay, let's do it. Okay. And for the rest of you ladies, uh, I guess we'll just have to wait. <laughs> that's so cute, it that's is. so cute. Hey, Hi. oh, the twins are playing basketball. Well, basketball. Actually, you guys are gonna be playing basketball. We're playing basketball? Yes, that's your one-on-one -on -one date, and then after we have a special surprise for you. Okay, well, we're playing basketball, that's what we're doing, all right. I love playing basketball, so I'm gonna put Brianna in my element and see how she handles a little friendly competition. Can, I, can I hold it for a little bit so and you run? you can hold it and you can just like dribble the ball. Oh, just like that. <laughs> I'm kind of quick. I don't know if you know uh, yeah, that. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah can, wait, box. you're pushing me back. Can I push yeah, you yeah, back? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can. You can. Hit. There we go. See the defense. Is that the best, guy? I actually think that Brianna is sandbagging Nate a little bit. She's really good at basketball. Oh, with the crossover. Okay. If you don't know what sandbagging is, it's someone who's pretending that they're not really good, but they are. I'm not <laughs> I tried That's to swat why. that one. That's why. I tried You're... to swat that one. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so I win. You win. I win. So you're talented. Thank you. You know, I don't like to brag or anything. <laughs> so I talked to Kay um, about the whole like Aaron thing. Oh, how does she feel about it? Me and Rebecca talked about it. Well, I, I had no idea. I found out today. <laughs> I oh really? I just found out last night when she told us. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, there's chemistry because I right. mean, if there was ever something, then I feel like that always stays. A little bit. One of the sound guys accidentally left his equipment on right next to me, and I'm hearing everything these girls are saying about me and me. Like, did you know ahead of time since you guys are living together? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, I just like I kept it on the DL because yeah. like it's not my business. Yeah, to it's her say. thing to tell us when um, she's ready. Brianna and Nate, we have something for you guys over here. I don't know why I see shoes and I see paint, so probably something I'm not gonna be good at. So, we are very big shoe people. We love okay. shoes, and we... Okay. okay, well, since this is a dating show, tell me about, like, past relationships and stuff for you. I've been in one serious relationship, and it was for about two and a half to three years. Okay, um, so that was, like, a long time. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's my only relationship. When you were talking the other night, you said something about, like, your mom being, like, a single mom. Mm -hmm. So, like, I have a baby. You do? I do. And you know what? And it was like with my relationship that, like I said, lasted like three years. Mm -hmm. So that one ended like a while ago. And so my daughter, she's like, How old is she? she's two. You have a daughter. Yeah. And so I had her when I was 20. So like I'm 22 now, but she's two. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's always weird. I feel like dating or yeah. like, you know. So Brianna reveals to me that she has a baby. 
and I I'm not gonna lie, it did take me a little bit by surprise, but definitely not in a bad way. It doesn't make me a different person. It actually makes me like 10 times of a better person. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm going back to like how I used to be, mm -hmm. but like now I just like have a little little extra with me. Yeah, yeah. That's how I feel, She's you like know? Your best friend. Oh my God, yeah. I relate to that because I kind of, I feel like I kind of know what you go through and stuff. Yeah. Like I said, my mom was my best friend growing up. Mm -hmm. We were a little team. Yeah. And I respect you tremendously for that because I know that's difficult. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know the type of love I want to give to my kid because yeah. I didn't receive that from my dad. Yeah, your dad. I want to be a dad someday. It's a responsibility that I am really looking forward to in the future. What's the time looking at? How many seconds? <laughs> Five, I do not believe this. Four, three, two, no, what did it go? One, what? One, three. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> That's so cute. See? Oh. See? Oh my god! Oh, so good. good! To be honest, Brianna has the way better sneaker. Nate, on the other hand, he is trying his best. He gets a gold star. Gold star for effort. So this is like our first date. <laughs> the oh. first thing we ever did. We played basketball and pink because you're pink, the winner. Yeah, I like that it says winner, so mm -hmm. everyone can you know won. when I wear them that yeah. I'm a winner. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for going on a date with me. Of course, no, thank you for asking me. Of course. I um, really did have a good time. Did you? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I think we're going another one too. Hopefully, you have to ask me though. I know, of course. Yeah. Of course, yeah, but. Thanks. Even though Nate just got done with his date with Brianna, Monica has a little something up her sleeve and a little surprise for him. Hi. Oh, hey. What's up? <laughs> Not much. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Nice so I know you haven't gotten a chance to talk yeah, yet today, good. but I have a little something, a little oh, surprise for, for you. Okay. Yeah. So I know you said you're not a big sweets person, but I oh. hope you like ice cream. Oh, ice cream. I love <laughs> ice cream. You did this? Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you. Wow. Can you tie a cherry in a knot? Yeah. You can? Yeah, can you? No way. Yeah, you want to see? <laughs> now, yeah, now I want to see, because that is like a ton. You don't talent. know how to? I don't. Do you know what that means, right? I don't know. What does it mean? It means you're a really good kisser. Oh. And it must mean you're a better kisser than me. <laughs> Because I cannot do it. Really? No way you do it that fast. No <laughs> way. No way. <laughs> what? Well, no. now you have to try. Okay. It's all the way in the back of my mouth now. I don't know how it got there, but... I'll get back to that. <laughs> You can practice. Yeah, yeah, I'll practice. I'll practice, okay. Monica and I are having a great time. We are eating ice cream and we are mixing in ingredients that I didn't even know would taste good in ice cream. And then we moved on to the whipped cream. That got messy. It was an amazing day overall. We got to be fun, we got to be silly, we got to try and throw food in each other's mouths, and it was exactly what I was hoping for, but if you look at it just on the so I haven't got to talk to Nate at all today, but I know he likes rosé, so I'm gonna grab a couple glasses. I get another knock at my door, and it's Aaron. Hi. I was wondering if you wanted to chat, if you have a moment. I'd love to chat. Perfect. I have this for you. Oh. And a blanket and a cute little little setup. Right. I uh, we just didn't get to chat much today. We didn't. Were you we upset didn't. By that? Yeah, so we kind of talked about how, you know, your father wasn't as present um, in your upbringing. And I actually didn't share as much then, but I have a similar um, experience, but the other way around. So, do you know what multiple sclerosis is, by any chance? Um, so it's a, it's a disease, uh, like a spinal disease, and my mom has it. Um, so since I was about like 10, 11, she just kind of lost her ability to move around and walk and stuff. So she can't really walk at all um, at this point. So it was, she wasn't as involved in raising me as I wish, I'm, I'm sure she wished she was and I wish she was. I really appreciate Erin opening up to me about her mom. I know we know each other, but we've never had like a deep talk like this before. Oh, my that best friend goes to UC. That's where I was gonna go. I yeah, I what were you gonna do there? Uh, just something in business. Yeah. And then you got famous. And... Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of expecting Nate to kiss me again. But then Rebecca walks up. Hi guys. Hi. Hey. Hey, y'all. What's good? Are you gonna take it from me? Yeah. 
Okay, it's been a popular okay. thing. I'm just uh, you to can have them. Um, I'm sure I'll see you later. Where are we going? Um, I guess I'll go to the couch. Oh, like, cool. Freezing. You have a tank top, and it's like I'm a furnace. Like I'm heating up. Oh, were you sitting by the fire? Was that why? Yeah, but like I would still go to the hot tub. Know what I mean? You guys been in the hot tub? No, not yet. Are you guys gonna get in the hot tub? But like, did you bring a change of clothes for that? I think I did. I don't know. <laughs> You're just gonna skinny dip. I'm gonna have to look. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, just, I mean, yeah. <clears throat> skinny dipping? What are you feeling? Like right now? Mm -hmm. I feel like you missed that. Like, I was crying earlier. So. Why were you crying? I guess I like felt that I wasn't sure about like where your mind was at. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I wasn't sure that I was like receiving what I was giving. If that makes sense. Okay. Because I felt like I was sharing a lot, but I wasn't getting enough from you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I want to put an effort. I want to know like, what I'm not doing because I don't want you to feel that way. What, what is your ideal date? Like, yeah. okay. You said this, actually. You said this. Did you say this? I said this. You said this. It's a, okay. oh, it's a lot to like. I totally understand where Rebecca is coming from, but I wish she could be in my shoes so she could understand that you know, it's hard for me as well. You like to yeah. do something active, and then mm -hmm. at the end of it, you it's just like you two. Yeah, and like whatever. a picnic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. picnic, yeah. And like, Cause I related to that, cause I wanna, because I wanted to, I like to have like picnics on the beach. That's mm -hmm. like my, mm -hmm. like my thing with dates. Yeah, it's like, it's like a group date now. Oh, we're <laughs> all talking together. That's what this is, it's right? Yeah, that's what this yeah. is. Yeah. To tell you guys that it's time to get ready for elimination. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I don't even know who Nate is going to choose because all of the girls are amazing. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, thank you. Ladies, you look so beautiful. Unfortunately, it's the worst time of the day. As a reminder, the MVP is safe, and the MVP today is Daniela. I just want to say I appreciate all you guys for, you know, being super vulnerable today and opening up, opening up to me. Um, that meant a lot that you guys would do that to me because I know that was hard for a lot of you. With that said, I will be picking my bottom three, and. Brianna, can I actually talk to you for a second? Yeah. So, Nate is taking Brianna away? What is he doing? Is he gonna eliminate her? So, I really enjoyed our date. And earlier, like, I, I really respected the fact that you opened up to me about your daughter. And I'm not gonna lie, that took me by surprise a little bit, but I mm -hmm. loved it. Mm -hmm. And it was, a, it was a great surprise. Um, and I felt like, I was a little bit nervous, so I wasn't able to say everything that I wanted to say to mm -hmm. you, especially yeah. after that. When you talk about your daughter, you glow, and I've never seen anyone radiate the way you did today. I have nothing but the most respect for you, and I truly feel honored to have you here standing right next to me. You should be proud of yourself, and believe me when I say I am. <sighs> okay, sorry. <clears throat> I know it's crazy here with all the other ladies in the house, but I wanted to let you know that I had a great time with you today. Even though you beat me, kind of. <laughs> I did. No, I did. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> like three times, maybe. You did, okay. <laughs> um, you're beautiful, and I can't wait until the next time I can spend more alone time with you. I love that. And now I feel like I need to, I should have wrote something down. No, 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 you didn't need to do that. I just, no. I needed to write it down, because sometimes, I get a little nervous mm -hmm. and I can't get everything out that I want to say. Yeah. Um, you had to like so think about I had, it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And I had to write it down. Yeah. And I feel great that I was able to get that out. Well, with that said, there's one more thing that I wanted to do. Okay. What is going on? They've been outside forever. The producers don't want us to say this, but it's cold in this barn. <laughs> I can see out of the stables and I see that they're kissing. I didn't see the kiss. Didn't really want to. So I'm walking back into the barn and I think everyone's super confused. Um, <sighs> I'm ready to pick my bottom three. The first girl in my bottom three is Aaron. 
Second girl on my bottom three is Gabby. Um, my heart just dropped. And the third girl in my bottom three is Rebecca. As you guys know now, me and Aaron do know each other and we do have a connection, but that does not mean that I don't, already, I don't also have a connection with the other girls that are here. Gabby, I just feel like we need to talk a little bit more. Honestly, we have not been able to talk a lot yet. Like I have with some of the other girls. And Rebecca, Honestly, just, I think something today that you said just rubbed me a little bit wrong. I'm just being completely honest. So the first person that is safe is Gabby. The person that is going home is Rebecca. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, like, um, I don't know. I you felt know, like it let's was go, really... Let's go, let's, let's go again and talk. Yeah, yeah that's good. I don't know. I, I guess, like, it was... I, mean, I didn't I know what... I don't think we were really compatible. Yeah. Like, for each other. I don't know if we, like, I was really for the same, like, outcome. Or... I still had a good time. Yeah. You know, it was still really fun. Yeah, and, like, I'm glad I'm really you glad put I met you. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm really glad I met you, too. Yeah. Because you're amazing. You I truly are. I still got what I wanted from this, so... I'm still like pretty happy about that and I wanted to meet people that, that I had connection with and they did and those were the nine other girls that I ended up bonding and getting really close to. It's really sad to see Rebecca go because she was so sweet and so kind. <clears throat> okay, so we're all good. Now we can breathe a little bit until tomorrow. Okay, so before we head up onto the house, I want to give you guys a hint for tomorrow's challenge. And we are going to have you channel your inner influencer. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to see that one. Tomorrow is a brand new day. I wonder what's going to happen. I feel like, well, okay, honestly, I have no idea what's going to happen. Honestly, I have no idea either. I didn't know what to expect today, but today's been a roller coaster for sure. Make sure to tune in to the next episode of Twin My Heart. Ultimate Influencer Games. And you were smelling in our face. Like, that's so rude and shady. Mmm, no kisses. <laughs> I would be kind of like, Por qué? We smacking a little kiss. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, oh, no! Leave a bunch of basketball emojis in the comments below so we know who the real MVPs are. Also, you don't want to miss out on the next episode, so make sure you hit the bell button to get notified when the next episode airs. And give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to Austinist TV. Subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to Nate. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. The person who won my heart is Brianna. Oh, with the crossover. Okay. So, like, I have a baby. You do? I do. So I talked to Kay about the whole like Aaron thing. Monica has a little something up her sleeve. Brianna, can I actually talk to you for a second? There's one more thing that I wanted to do. The person that is going home is <sighs> Rebecca. Welcome back to season three of Twin My Heart. Last night's elimination was hard on all of us, and it's not easy sending Rebecca home, but it, to me, it just really wasn't a match. So about last night, I saw you come back. <laughs> oh, laughing and cheesing and shit happened. I don't know where this is coming from. It's news to me that she's upset, and I'm just surprised she didn't bring it up last night. You were smiling in our face, like that's so rude and shady. I don't think I was really smiling in your face as I just came back happy and you guys just happened to be there. After we saw you kiss him, you don't think that was shady? I mean, okay, can I, am I not allowed to smile? You can do whatever you want to do, Brie. Oh, I would not want to be Brianna right now. Awkward. At the end of the day, I really don't have to say much about it though. So don't ask us about our business. I won't. Well, good morning, everyone. I know last night was a little bit stressful, so I hope you all got some rest. Today we have actually a very fun challenge planned for you all. So today's challenge is 
Ultimate Influencer Games. Ultimate Influencer Games, right up my alley. The first event we're going to be doing is you all are going to be making TikToks. Hey. <laughs> the second event will be a photo shoot with Nate. Okay. Awesome fun. And then the third event is going to be a YouTube challenge. Oh, that's Ooh. it. Ooh, okay. Nice. Let's get ready for the challenge. Right. The point of this challenge is for the girls to experience a day in the life of an influencer. So some of these girls are still scrolling, trying to find ideas, and I've already filmed mine about five times. Which one are you doing, Aaron? Oh, I don't know this one. You want to learn it? Sure, actually. Okay. Beautiful. So right off the bat, Kayana is doing a dance that I recognize. I'm just gonna video bomb it. <laughs> oh, you saw me crap. I was at the right time. Today's challenge is a little scary for me because I have never made a TikTok before. All the girls know the TikTok dances and I really see them doing their own thing and I'm just kind of sitting there like, I've already for a quick Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty sure that most of the girls are making like dancing TikToks. I kind of want to stand out. So I think I'm going to go with the funny route and I'm going to incorporate Nate into it because I think he's really going to like that. Okay. <laughs> Here. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to pull you in. All right. Okay. okay. Ready? Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I'm just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. I did it. Okay, that's <laughs> all. I told you it was a smock. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What are you doing, Gabby? Oh, you know, just a POV. I'm oh. writing out my script. That's gonna be really cool. Yeah. I watch like the TikToks, but I don't, I've never like made one before. So, like, and I've seen the POVs and they're like kind of funny. Yeah, they're yeah. cringier. I can't <laughs> wait to see yours. Hey. This movie is actually so sick. Good. Just came out to watch you up on my TikTok. Sounds good. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> now I have a cute guy watching me. Oh, okay. I'm getting a little nervous because now I have a beautiful smile staring at me. I look great. Now I'm gonna mess up this look at. Did you just learn that whole routine? Yeah. Yo, that was really good. Thank <laughs> that you. was like, was that a night? Right, something like that. Yeah. Just a little bit. Do you want to do it with me? Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh my God. Listen, I know I'm good at these TikTok dances, but I don't know what the hell type of K pop dance she's trying to teach me here. One, two, and on the third one, you want to go, bop. <laughs> and then you like drop, you like pull your knee out. <laughs> All I know, I am not good at it. Pop, pop, roll, sideways, and this way. And then doing the like the little like marching thing, and then now jump rope. To the side there, and the other way. Turn this way. Oh. Nate, I'm sorry, but maybe K-pop is not for you. <laughs> I feel like I would want to learn like full on bachata with you. Like the okay. actual like turning and stuff. All right, okay, let's try that. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, that. I honestly love dancing with Daniela. I feel like it just makes our connection really strong. Oh, okay. And then you're gonna spin me? Mm -hmm. There you go. Pump. And then we go back, there you go. 
I end up teaching him some salsa and some bachata because I do know he loves to dance salsa and bachata. So why not teach him some more? Because you know, you never know. We might just go out dancing together. Hey, it's time to move on to the next okay. challenge. Alrighty. All right, ladies, it's the next part of the challenge, the photo shoot challenge. The first person is going to be Aaron and Nate, so let's, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, okay, okay, I like this. It's easy taking photos with Aaron. I'm definitely very comfortable with her. So I can't see what these look like? No, you can't. I mean, you look fine, you look great. In season one, Ronnie had a great idea of having the boys take photos of me because that's really important to me. And I know that's important to Nate to have someone who takes good photos, but not only takes good photos, takes good photos with him. All right, I'll perfect. Take photos of you both. Photos of us both? Okay. Yes. Wow, well, first picture together. Is this our first picture? Is this our first picture? Okay, ready? No. I'm just going to take them. I'll show you later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Bro. Right. Beautiful. <laughs> but beautiful. Wow, wow, my work amazing. You ready for this photo shoot? You look good? I feel good. Oh my gosh, you look like a Calvin Klein model. I took some bomb pictures of Nate. He better upload those to Instagram. Now it's time for you guys to do it together. Okay, stay there. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh my goodness. If you're looking at me like this, you might as well kiss me. Mm -mm, no kisses. <laughs> no besitos para ti. Mm -mm. <laughs> If someone said that to me, I would be kind of like, ¿Por qué? Okay. Hi. Hey. I'm really excited for this part of the challenge. And I also think I'm gonna take him like to the farthest point I can. We've been around all the other girls all day and I want some alone time where they can't watch us. So like stand in the middle. <coughs> I feel like I'm, yeah, I'm like dressed perfectly yeah. for this like environment. <laughs> Maybe like unbutton the shirt all the way. Oh, all the way, okay. <laughs> Go like real country. I'm here, the professional. <laughs> I kissed Monica on the forehead. Yes, it was because of a picture, but also because I just wanted to reassure her that I'm into her. Okay, what vibes are you thinking? Man? Okay, am I I'm standing? Thinking, am I sitting? Oh, I would do like sitting. So all of the girls have taken me outside for photos, and Gabby's the first one who's taken me inside. So I'm curious to see how creative she's gonna be. There you go. <laughs> Ooh, the smolder. Looking out. Yeah, I'm just like enjoying. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, um, my face is like, I'm red. <laughs> I'm turning red. This is so cute. I didn't want to kiss that moment because I didn't want that to be our first kiss. All right, well, we're going to go to the next girl and we'll see you there. Okay. Those are like great photos. Oh, yay. Some of the best so far. At this stage, I think all the girls are competition, but I also like to think about where I stand with me, and I'm really confident in what we have going on right now. You look so good. You look so cute. Okay, then let's hit one of these. That the one? Yeah, I got that one. <laughs> I want to see that one. That was probably really cute. I'm not going to lie. The Merrill twins are right here taking photos of us, but that is not going to get in the way of me kissing Rihanna. So cute. Oh, my God. I think we got it. We got it? Yeah. So now this is the last part of the Ultimate Influencer Games. And today, you guys are going to be doing the, the smoothie challenge. Oh, man. Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> the smoothie challenge. Now, I love smoothies, but these smoothies, good luck, ladies. So the smoothie challenge is a classic YouTube challenge. YouTubers have been doing it for years. So you guys are split into teams. Each uh, team gets to draw a item from the bowl, and whatever item you get, you have to put it into your blender. <laughs> On top of all of that, we are filming a YouTube video. So you have to be lively, you have to have energy, you have to address the camera, address each other. Make it very entertaining for people to watch. Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing the smoothie challenge. I will throw up if this smoothie comes out disgusting. Hopefully you pick fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Banana. Oh, oh yes. That's no. a good one to start with. All of it? No, they have to have some. No, all of it. Yeah, yeah, because it's for us. First one, we have ketchup. All right. Oh, nice little. Nice little That's good. Oh, oh, there we go. Cheese fish. 
Yeah, that's it. Uh-uh. <laughs> Chocolate syrup. <laughs> Orange juice. Yes. Ha-ha-ha. <laughs> look at that. Gatorade, baby. It might be good. I don't think it's gonna be good. Ginger ale. It's my favorite soda, so. It's gonna like, all, all of it again, all of it again. Chips. The sweet and salty vibe. Candy. You guys tell me when, I don't know how much chips is in there. Yeah, do all of it. All of it? We have seaweed, yay. Seaweed, seaweed. Alright guys, it's shot o'clock, so uh, we're gonna get started. No, it's not like Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Don't worry that much. Don't okay, that I'm much. sorry, I'm sorry. Salud, ladies. Cheers. 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 Ready? Okay. One, two, three. It's so oh. thick. It's so thick. <laughs> it's crunchy. Is it wait, good? Wait, wait, wait. Not that. wait, it tastes good though. Yeah. Not good. No, not good. Cheers. Okay. Mm. I'm a trooper, I'm competitive, I'm a win, so I'm gonna down all of this little strawberry little smoothie I have. <laughs> Please don't, I was like, this. <laughs> oh no, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a good sport, you know, I'll, I'll drink one of the smoothies, I'll take one for the team. No, it's not that. Yeah. Take a sip. It's not no, worth it. I can yeah. Tastes like a smoothie. It's right? <laughs> I taste the cheese. Swallow it. It's okay. Oh my. Oh. That's awful. <laughs> it tastes oh, like. Right just as I thought. It is gross. All right. Well, good job, everyone. That concludes the ultimate influencer games. Yes. Y'all did great. Yeah. We're gonna go discuss who MVP is. You girls can go to the yeah. couch. Maybe go brush your teeth first. Yeah. 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 Okay, so like, what did you think about your photo shoot? Or like, what do you think about Monica? Like, how did she do? Monica was amazing, and then the TikTok, she incorporated me with her. Oh, and, it, and it was funny. What about like Gabby? What did you think of Gabby? Gabby, we took the best photos, I think. She was super fun with her photos. They weren't too, I mean, some of them were serious, but they weren't all serious. What about Kayana? Kayana is like my ultimate hype man. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I just feel like I can just mess around with her and she's, she's just fun. Kayana's really fun. How did you feel about her not wanting to kiss you though? Oh, I forgot about that. Like I, I don't really know. What to, I mean, it's a dating show. Like I'm, like I understand why she said it, but like also, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we were just looking. At, like honestly, we we're just looking into each other's eyes, um, and it just looked like we were about to kiss. So that's why I said it. I, I don't know. All right. So now it's time to go tell the girls who the MVP is and who's gonna go on the one-on-one -on -one date. Do you have like any idea? I think I do. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let's go. It is that time for Nate to pick MVP and to pick who's going to go on the one-on-one -on -one date with us. So, Nate, do you want to take it away? First off, I just want to say thank you for coming into my world. That was really cool to see, and you guys all did great. And I think you guys could handle it if you were in my world. <laughs> <laughs> with that said, the MVP that I'm picking. This person, I just felt like we had the most natural photos. We had fun with it. It wasn't always like having to be so sexy and it was just fun, playful. And her TikTok, <laughs> believe it or not, really touched me. And it, it, it made me tear up, not, I'm not gonna lie. I wish everyone can see what TikTok she made. Um, but with that said, Gabby, you are my MVP. <laughs> I'm feeling the little butterflies in my stomach. I did not know that it made him tear up. That just makes me feel good. Comment down below which girl you would subscribe to. Make sure to tune into the next episode. You won't want to miss it. It's hot in here, and I'm not talking about the hot tub. I'm talking about the tea. I don't like that he's kissing other girls. Are you going to kiss him knowing that he kissed Brie last night? I saw you kiss Brie. I want to know how they met. Wait, he Wait, kissed did you. <laughs> Nate keeps pulling all these twists on us. I don't know what to do. 
subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to Nate, follow him on TikTok, subscribe to our channel. Also give this video a thumbs up. Thanks, Thanks for watching and we'll, we'll see, see you guys, guys next time. time. Bye. Today's challenge is Ultimate, Ultimate Influencer Games. I've never made a TikTok before. I put some bomb pictures of me. You're looking at me like you might as well kiss me. Mm -mm, no kisses. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's hit one of these. Yeah, I got that one. <laughs> we are going to be doing the smoothie challenge. Ginger ale. Oh, oh, ladies. Too thick. No, it's not good. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Gabby, you are my MVP. <laughs> Season three of Twin My Heart. If you aren't caught up with all of the episodes yet, make sure to watch them before you watch this. Last episode, Nate chose Gabby as his MVP, so I wonder who he's going to take on his one-on-one -on -one date. Again, I feel like we had great chemistry, our pictures were amazing, and your TikTok really made me laugh. It was really creative and it was funny. The person who I want to take on my one-on-one -on -one date is... Monica. You two can go get ready for your one on one day. We have something fun planned, so. Do we get a hand? Shoo along. No hand. No, 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 no. Go no. along. Go, go. Shoo, shoo. So, right before my date with Monica, Gabby pulls me to the side and says she has a surprise for me. Um, I want to show you something kind of cool. Okay. Okay. It's like, it's pretty fun. You'll, okay. you'll like it. Yeah. Oh, we're going somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, just follow me. Okay. And this, like, this activity is just like, it's a part of me, so I wanted to, like, you know, immerse you in what, like, I'm about, you know? Are we having a picnic? Well, kind of, sort of. I wanted to make a charcuterie board with you. Oh my gosh, yeah. this is so cool. There's the leaves, the sunset, we're on a ranch. It honestly doesn't get any better than this. So take your salami, okay. like just one piece, and then you're just gonna fold, like taco style, mm -hmm. and then fold it again so it's like a little triangle. Okay. Like, I'm curious, like, because I'm an alien mm -hmm. to the TikTok world, yeah. so like, I wanna know like more about it. Like, what do you do? Yeah, I mean, I've just been, I've been doing that app for four years now. And okay. obviously I do like, well, not, I wouldn't say obviously, you didn't know that, but I do YouTube, <laughs> mm -hmm. Instagram, everything social media, Snapchat, acting and music is my passion. Okay. But uh, social media definitely helps pursue those other things. And I wanted to ask like you, like about like your upbringing, like mm -hmm. how were you raised? Like, cause I know you said you came from Ohio. Mm -hmm. So like. Uh, mm -hmm. My mom taught me how to be a gentleman. Mm -hmm. Dad wasn't in my life. And because of that, I think my mom made it a point to like really teach me the male traits mm -hmm. and like to be a gentleman. And uh, honestly, I don't think, I mean, I think she taught me more well than any other man would. You do have a lot of manners, and it's just like, it's nice to see that. Cause yeah. You don't get that a lot. Yeah. And like, when you do, you're like. Mm hmm. <laughs> Surprising and shocking. Is this real life? Yeah. Like, is he real? <laughs> well, thank you for this. Yeah, of course. This was like amazing. Like, I was not expecting this at all. I thought I was gonna come out and just talk to you. Mm -hmm. And then you surprised me with this. And this no, is probably yeah. the sweetest thing someone's ever done for me. I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> like, this is amazing. I think I just really got way closer to you. Yeah, I feel that as well. Hey, girl. Hi. Hey, are you back already? No, we haven't oh. left yet. <laughs> oh, I was like, what? Just waiting for him. Oh. Okay, well, you look are pretty. You excited? Thank you. Yeah, I'm nervous. Though. Are you gonna kiss him knowing that he kissed uh, Brie last night? If he makes the move, I think I would. I don't think I'll initiate it, but mm, I'm not opposed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we set up a really cute one-on-one -on -one date for Monica and Nate. Honestly, this is a dream date. Three, two, two one, one, open! Driving! Oh, driving! Driving! That's so cute! Yay. I'm like, that's I'm creative. Excited. In the first season, I watched a movie with Tim, and it was just like a really fun vibe. We watched my favorite movie. We just got to talk and get to know each other. So I thought this would be a great idea for Monica and Nate to do that. I've always wanted this to do blank. this. You ever went to a drive-in movie? I've been to the drive-in once. I'm really hoping that me and Nate will have the opportunity to talk more, get a little bit into like the deeper stuff, and I'm hoping he makes a move because I'm kind of waiting for that reassurance. And you have great energy, like I love that. Like, it's easy to talk to you. <laughs> Thank you. We you had too. so much fun the other yes. the Sunday. <laughs> that was so much fun. Mm -hmm. I, I tried to, uh, tr I tried tried to again? <laughs> tie the cherry in a knot and uh, this wasn't happening. Yeah, you have good tongue game. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>
<laughs> that's I've what the, never had someone say. That. I mean, I don't think I've asked. ever had someone ask me to do that for them though either. So really, really. Yeah, that was first. So because mm. you know, right now you're not a good kisser. So right now, that's what that means. Right oh, now you're not a good. Are you you told me what that meant. <laughs> Is that what that really means though? I mean, I according know, to Drake and Josh. Yeah. So I'm not a good. T- I'm not a good kisser. Is that what you're saying? That's what Drake and Josh would say. Mm. I don't know. You want to test it out? Test it out. Hey, how's it going? Raga. <laughs> we just came to come get you guys because the year one one day is coming to an end. Um, but everyone is just chilling. I think all the girls are going in the hot tub and just hanging out. How was your day? Okay, I was I was trying not to like compare myself to like the other girls' dates because I know like you had said like he had asked like to kiss you and then he kissed you and then he kissed you. Did he? Huh. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Wait, he wait, kissed did you. you? <laughs> She didn't, she didn't say that. No one asked. You, wait, wait, he asked you? Yeah, it's okay. I said no. Wait, when did he ask you? I don't like that he's kissing other girls. I'm gonna be straight up. Exactly. I don't like that. I don't yeah. like that at all. And I don't wanna guys, be, I don't wanna just be just like another, another yeah, girl yeah. he's kissing because then it's just not gonna feel special on my end. He hasn't like tried to. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if it's a bad thing that I rejected it. Monica said she was going to do it tonight. If, um, especially if he initiated it, she said yeah. So do we think he did? Yeah. At, this, at, this, yeah. at the or rate sh- we're going, probably yeah. yeah. At this, co- at this, this conversation? Probably, yeah. Probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to grab him first. Go ahead. Eliminations are coming up. I'm definitely thinking about pulling Nate to the side tonight before eliminations because I just want to make sure I'm going to see. Page. Okay, so I just want to talk to you. Okay. Obviously, you know, on our date, I want to know how you felt about me being like, you know, no, no kisses today or like whatever I so. said. I mean, yeah, I just thought we were having a moment and I wanted to kiss you. Mm-hmm. And you said no. I didn't know if you like felt like we were like just friends or mm-hmm. like what the vibe was. Mm-hmm. So I didn't. I didn't. That's why I wanted to talk to you. I was like, I heard through the grapevine that you're not good, like with stuff like that, or like it could have made your head. So I, I wanted to let you what know. What am I not good? What did you, what did you like, get to the grapevine? Like like rejection, I guess you could yeah, say. Like I'm not. And like no one is, right? Wait, oh, we have, Monica. Monica. We have a. Oh, we have a. Hello. How was? It was good. It was good. They set up like a little drive-in movie for us. I'm you gonna go ahead and sorry though while y'all do this. Dry up a little bit. Okay. Maybe steal a chat. I really want to talk to him about last night. And when I was in the bottom two, I felt really uncomfortable going into elimination tonight without at least even speaking to him about it. So that conversation needs to happen. I can't yeah, believe I did this show where you're publicly gonna possibly tell me, yeah, it's just not gonna work. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, but like, I really love you, but like, <laughs> I love some, or I like someone else better. Like, all right, you can have him, but you can borrow one. Borrow one, <laughs> no problem, that's fine. I did not expect Aaron to come in. So I was just a little curious, like what, put me in the bottom two. Well, I've heard through the grapevine that you are getting a little bit too confident or comfortable. Okay. You wanted to humble me a little bit. A little bit, because I know that it, it, it definitely probably does worry. The other girls. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Hey, girl. Can we talk? Yeah. 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 Talk. I want to know how they met. I mean, she doesn't have to open up to us about it. Like, that's between her and him, but like, it's unfair. No, I feel 100% like she's playing it off. Like, oh, we just casually know each other, but like, yeah, if you. Oh, well. Okay, so remember she's last night when she. I mean, we can ask her though. Yeah. More. She heard you say she's coming. Um, I've already said I'm not talking about me anymore. So. Yeah. That's what we. That's all we said. Gabby, how do you feel? Honestly, indifferent. At the end of the day, if I'm his cup of tea and like, and she's not, then yeah, yeah. then it'll be you. Exactly. Well, I felt a little bad for not really hanging out with you last night. Obviously, when we had like an opportunity to hang out with you a little bit more, I wanted to say sorry because I do want to hang out with you. The thing is, I like you. And like, I like you a lot. And obviously as I get to know you more. Well, that was a pleasant surprise actually. Okay. Yeah, and I know that like, I may not come off like a, as I 
Sorry. You're good. I'm like nervous. No, you're good. I know it may not seem like I do, but I do. And it's scaring me a little bit. It's making me obviously feel these like scary feelings that I thought I didn't have, but I guess I do because I am starting to like you a lot. But obviously the fact that you're like kissing Brie and like obviously you've kissed Erin, it just makes me feel like, I you don't saw know. that? I saw you kiss Brie. Did everyone see that? Yeah, everyone did see that. And obviously it's not a fun feeling seeing that. Obviously the girls are close, but all of a sudden I feel like the competition has really started because now we are seeing that they are expressing they really like Nate and they're, some of them are concerned. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I, this whole day I thought you didn't even wanna be here. No, it's not even like, that. It's just because I'm now going through these like thoughts in my head and I'm like over analyzing everything, which I shouldn't but like that's just who I am. I naturally analyze everything. Well, well, you should trust what we have because you were the first girl that I took on a date. So yeah. that means something. I know, I know. And thank you for obviously, I guess, reassuring me mm -hmm. in a way. Thank but you for reassuring me. Really? Okay. Yeah, cause I'm, I'm not- I, I don't want to make you feel like I don't like you because I do. I really do. I love obviously dancing with you and I love getting to know you more. I want to get to know you more. I know there's a lot more to you than obviously what you've yeah. mentioned. There's a lot more to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I want to be open with you and tell you exactly how I feel and like what I'm thinking. I Rather than like me shut off and like not tell you how I'm feeling. If that makes sense. It does. Yeah. You're so cute. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Don't do You're that. You're so cute when you get scared. all like flustered. I, and <laughs> I, get flustered. I thought I had a clear decision of my elimination tonight, but now I'm like, hey. Hi. Hi. Um, change of the camera. I don't think he cares that she has a kid. He grew up in a single parent home. He doesn't care. I think he relates more to her. Because yeah, her. exactly. And I feels for her that the parent, that the dad isn't around. Right. I'm like nervous for eliminations tonight. Why? Like I know like you're having connections with the other girls too. Mm hmm So obviously it makes me like a little bit nervous, but like I still just wanted to like pull you aside and like talk to you. Yeah. Let's <laughs> reassure you. Is it? Uh, You're coming up and telling me. I know, I offered. <laughs> I offered. <laughs> I offered to okay. get you. Oh. Elevation time. Sorry, sorry. Dresses on. Sorry, bring it up, baby. Okay. Oh, 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 Ladies, you all look absolutely gorgeous tonight. It is that time of the night though for eliminations. As a reminder, the person who won MVP today is safe from eliminations and that is Gabby. The rest of you are not safe. Nate, would you like to name your bottom two? <clears throat> um, you know, I know these last few nights there has been a bottom two, but I I just don't feel comfortable naming a bottom two right now. Nate keeps pulling all these twists on us. He's not choosing a bottom two. So with that said, the person that I am just, I, I know in my heart that it's just not a match. Um, Person that I'm going to eliminate is Kayana. Thank you. Can you talk? Yes. Also, ladies, I love you. I love, love you. you. Words. Thank you. No, Kayana was 
was really sweet and she brought like this really happy energy and she positive did. vibes. I'm really gonna miss her. Me too. Yo, I, I vibe with you, but I feel like it's just, it's on a... It's a platonic level, right? Mm, it's like I felt the same. Level. That's why I had to talk to you. Yeah. yeah. Like I would actually kick it with you. No, I know. We have so much fun. Yeah. That's what I was saying, so I'm glad we talked about it. Yeah. Thank you for the experience. It's been fun. Yeah. So many fun times. Thank you for putting yourself out here. Absolutely. And doing this, because this is not easy. Absolutely. Well, and you're yeah. beautiful and you're amazing. Thank you. And <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, well, you should know. I know, you I know. know. This experience has been so interesting. I've got a lot of tea from a lot of ladies. And I kind of knew, like, I may not be his cup of tea, but I'm somebody else's glass of champagne, so I'm okay. So with that being said, you ladies are safe for tonight so we can enjoy the rest of the evening. And tomorrow's hint for the activity is expect the unexpected. Okay. <laughs> and I would like to give you ladies some advice. This is a dating show. There were 10 of you, five are gone, and now five of you are left. Tomorrow, your time with Nate is as valuable as ever. So make sure you use it wisely. Okay, a lot of tension. Let's go have fun. Let's loosen up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Gosh. What a day from the confrontations to all those kisses to the elimination to the tea. I'm in shock to be honest. This is this is a lot. It is. Comment down below what you thought was the most shocking moment of this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode. Hit the bell button to get notified when the next episode goes out. What's wrong? <laughs> Can we go talk over there? I just wish I could listen. I know something's wrong. I didn't think it was gonna be so overwhelming. I just, I don't know what to do. We all wanna be the last one here, so. Right. <sighs> subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to Nate, check out his TikTok, subscribe to our channel while you're at it. Also, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Person who I want to take on my one-on-one -on -one date is Monica. Drive oh, me! Drive me! Other girls. Wait, he Wait, kissed you. you. Did everyone see that? Yeah, everyone did see that. I don't know what to do. The person that I'm going to eliminate is Yana. Tomorrow, your time with Nate is as valuable as ever. So make sure you use it wisely. Hey guys, welcome back to season three of Twin My Heart. If you haven't watched the previous episode, make sure to watch it so you're all caught up. So this happened off camera, but this morning Daniela came into the main house and it looked like she was really upset. A little later we see Daniela talking to the director and the assistant director and it looks like they're having a very serious conversation. They're just awful. <laughs> they're just awful. Yeah, I chose really guys that just destroyed my self-esteem. Brought back all my insecurities, and they're like right here, and I don't know how to like push them to the side. Like, you shouldn't have to get this thrown on him. It's not, yeah. It has nothing to do with him. Yeah. Like I said, he's great. He's a great guy. Oh, well, any girl would be lucky to have him. He's one of the few. So I don't think it's fair for him. I don't think he wants to. Um... Like I said, I think I need to feel that confidence back again. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna, how do I, um, I don't wanna portray that. Mm -hmm. like exactly. I, said, I don't think that's fair for him. No, I agree. It's definitely not fair for him. Oh, he deserves a girl who's like strong and confident. So the producers are telling me to come outside and I have no idea what's going on. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, good morning. Good morning. You crying? When aren't I? What's wrong? <laughs> Can we go talk over there? Yeah. We have no idea what's going on and the other girls have no idea what's going on. We're just really confused and concerned. Gosh, I'm nervous. Uh, I was doing good, now I'm a little nervous. Now I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
just with everything this show I didn't think it was gonna be so overwhelming on my end um, there was just some things that I thought I had worked on and that I thought I was okay on I realized that I still have a lot of things to work on myself there's just so many insecurities that just came up that once again I thought I was over and they're not and um, It's hard for me, obviously seeing the guy that I like, talking to other girls and like obviously having all these moments and it just brought back so many like insecurities that once again, I thought I was over with. I thought I was confident. So are you, are you trying to say you need to leave? I think I'm at a point where I need to love myself first before I can love somebody else because I don't want to throw my baggage on you because that's not fair. I sympathize for Daniela when she says she needs to work on herself, but I still don't want her to leave. And you know, in relationships, you work on those things together. There's only four people standing here right now. That's, that's like that's scary. Terrifying. I hope she comes back. It like is. a couple days ago, there were 10 Wait, of us. If she doesn't come, literally, it would be us four if she doesn't come back. Why? This circle is like, oh, I can't do <laughs> like I'm missing somebody. somebody. But then, like, would they do an elimination tonight? It depends maybe. if they were going to do a double tonight. Also, we like, were talking about that. We were thinking maybe they might do it. It double. depends if they want two or three in the finale. Thank you for being honest with me. Um, well, thank you for hearing me out. I yeah. appreciate that a lot. It means a lot to me that you're taking the time to hear what I have to say. Of course. And thank you for, I guess, being so understanding. It sucks. But I'm I, I, no, but I, under I understand. Sorry. I understand. <laughs> And I'll get through it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I just wish I could listen. I know. Are they Mike? They look intense. <laughs> they, yeah, they, they look, look like they're having like walk. a... Like his head's down. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And I feel like it's like one of those walks where it's like, we need to talk. It's just a little bit shocking. I just liked you. I liked you a lot and felt like we had a great connection. Um, I really don't want you to feel like I don't like you because that's not the case here. And I hope you know that. Like, I really, really hope you know that. I genuinely like you. Just sucks that I'm feeling the way I'm feeling and that that's getting in the way. But I promise you, I'm gonna work on it so this doesn't happen again. Okay. All right, one more hug. One more hug. Sorry, I'd like run down every time no, you hug me. <laughs> okay. Bye. No we idea. have no idea what's yeah. going on. We've just been yeah. watching them walk. <laughs> like, okay. I know we, she we, get like, we know she talked to him last night yeah. when everyone was in the hot tub. We were she like, how did it go? Well. And she was like, it was good. Like, I, I, we said what we needed to say. Yeah, and like, that was it. it. So literally none of us, but she didn't seem like sad. No, she seemed happy last night. Yeah, she seemed yeah. like she got like, like truly like what she needed to. Yeah. But we don't know what that was. Yeah. She seemed Everything fine. seemed like okay. Yeah, yeah. when we were like all She sitting. did leave early though to go talk to her mom. She did. So did she come back? Did she come back? No, she didn't come back. She left. Daniela? Mm-hmm. She just had some things she had to work on with herself. And she said she needed her family. And this show's just a lot for her, which I understand, because it's a lot for me too. 
Um, yeah. Just need a second. Just a question. Would you, like, if you really, really want her to stay, would you be down to just go back to her trailer and ask her one more time to stay? Yeah. Like what she just told me right now, she was like, it breaks my heart because I don't think that I'll ever meet another guy like him. I don't want her to leave. And if I don't go after her, I know I'm gonna regret it. And I don't want her regretting anything. I just, I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I, I gotta do something. I have to go after her. I want you to know that you are worth fighting for, and I know that this is hard, but what relationships are not hard, and I like you a lot, and I really want you to stay. Don't do this to me. I really want you to stay. So worth, obviously. You're worth it. <sighs> I just don't want to be like this. You know what I mean? Like I said, I should be happy. But I feel like I just shouldn't be like this all the time. I shouldn't be feeling like this. Well, I would have just regretted it if I didn't, if I didn't say something. I want you to stay. That makes it 10 times harder. <laughs> it's not helping. <laughs> That's still a no. <sighs> I want to. Okay. But I just can't. Okay. I have to put myself first. And I never do that. I feel like it's time I do do that. She's going home, and there's nothing I can say or do to stop her. At the end of the day, I respect her decision to go home, and I, I just want nothing but the best for her. I don't know if Danielle is coming back. I, I was, so I was, I was thinking she was leaving as she was walking that way, but then when he walked back out again, I thought maybe she'll, he's going to get her. He just doesn't want her to go, like, yeah. if there's something there. Yeah. Right. I want her to stay, she's awesome. But like one less, I mean, like, it makes it easier. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, like we like, all want to be the last one here, so right. if one less person <laughs> here, that just makes our chances easier. Yeah, so. It does. Daniela, I wish you could see how I see you. You're kind. You're beautiful. You're funny. We have so many amazing moments together and you're just truly amazing inside and out. And I do not regret running after you because every girl deserves a guy that's gonna fight for them. If you're feeling very similar to Daniela, just know that you are not alone. You do have to truly love yourself before you can let someone else in. Daniela, I hope that you know that you are so worthy and we're sending you so much love. Yes, send Daniela lots of love in the comments below. With that being said, make sure to check out To My Heart, the podcast. The link is in the description below where we spill lots of tea that was not talked about on the show. Make sure to stay tuned for the next episode so you don't miss out on what happens for the rest of today. You all are going to be doing a scavenger hunt. <gasps> oh, go, 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 go. One of you is going home right now. Oh, oh, look how that works out. The person that I'm eliminating is 
expect the unexpected. Hit the bell button to get notified when the next episode comes out. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to Nate, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! It's wrong. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I realize that I still have a lot of things to work on myself. Are you, are you trying to say you need to leave? I just wish I could listen. What happened? She left. He just doesn't want her to go. Like, if there's something there. Would you be down to just go back to your trailer and ask her one more time to stay? That's still a no. <sighs>
All right, so you guys have your seconds on the clock. Only one member from each team can be in the house at a time. Uh, you can find only one letter. If you don't find a letter within 30 seconds, you make sure you're back here in time or else you're going to be disqualified from the challenge. All right, on your mark, get set, go! Go, 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 This challenge is a lot harder than I expected it to be. The girls are kind of struggling. Oh! Aaron found something! Come on, Brie! Come on, Brie! Run, 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 run. Finally, Aaron finds the first letter. These girls are like flipping pillows, turning baskets over, making the house an entire mess. You can tell they really want to go on the one-on-one -on -one date. I didn't find anything. I know. that letter from the other team in a spot that the other team already has looked in. Savage. Oh. Woo! She's back so fast. Where'd you get that from? It's a workout running back and forth from the house. I'm exhausted. I'm sweating. I don't have a sports bra on. I wore sweatpants. I don't have running shoes. I'm struggling. Where would they hide your letters? Nate is gonna go. gonna go. Nate is gonna go I'm by gonna himself. Go. So you give you ladies a break. Some of these girls are not finding letters. So let me try. Okay. <laughs> oh wow, this place is a mess. I'm sure they already looked there. Where the hell do I even start with that? <laughs> yeah, this isn't easy. Oh! Found an E! Yeah! yeah! Okay! We just need one more! Oh, go, 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 go! One more letter! One more letter! Okay. Not in the yoga room. Not in the yoga room? No, she's tearing up the dining room too. Okay. So, go, Brie, go, Brie, go, Brie! Like, where is it? Where is the letter? I got it. Oh, in the bike bag. Oh, it's not the O. I'm so excited. Me too. All right, so congratulations <laughs> to Monica and Bree. You guys yeah. won the letters challenge. We're so excited. Yeah, we're going to take that one. Yeah, we're out of breath. We're excited. <laughs> All right. All right, so we're gonna go and discuss with Nate about who won the MVP for this challenge. Mm -hmm. But first, we're all going to go find the mystery H. Because okay. apparently, yeah. I don't think yeah. it's in there. All right, no, let's, let's go, 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 go,
But you guys have to look. Oh, oh it's no! right here. It's <laughs> right there. As soon as you said that, I looked right there. So I found the H and it was on the sconce, but it was so hard to see. Oh my god. <laughs> that was fun. That was crazy. That I did not funny. expect it to go that way, but no. I think it was a great challenge. Me too. I wonder who Nate's gonna take on this one-on-one -on -one date. I know Erin has been hinting about going on a one-on-one -on -one date because she hasn't gotten one yet, so. Monica found almost all the letters for her team. She's like, killing it. Brianna yeah. found one. That's fine, she couldn't find it. But Monica, yeah, Monica was she sprinting it. every time. Like, she put in a lot of effort. She killed it. And then Aaron had to hide the O again. Oh yeah, yeah Aaron was playing defense. He which was. Which that was, that was clever. And I think I have a pretty good idea who I'm gonna pick for MVP. Oh really? Yeah. Really? Do we get a hint? Expect the unexpected. Oh, I gotta hit you guys back, because y'all been doing that to me. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, let's go chat with the girls. Let's do it. All right, so now it's time for Nate to announce who he is choosing for MVP of today's challenge. First off, that was fun, exhausting, <laughs> yeah. 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 I feel like we got a little bit of cardio in though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of cardio. <laughs> a lot of cardio, yeah. I did not think it would take that long, but you guys killed it. So the person I want to pick for my MVP, this person showed strategic strategy, defense, was hustling. And with that said, Aaron, you are my MVP for this challenge. <laughs> And for the one-on-one -on -one date tonight, um, I'm gonna take a little bit more time to think about that one because if it were up to me, you know, I would love to take all of you guys on a one-on-one -on -one date. So yeah, I just need a little bit more time with that decision, if you guys don't mind. If you guys wanna pull Nate aside, if you have anything planned, make sure to do it right now or I during this time. To say, I have something planned for us if you oh, want really? to go. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's go then. So, Aaron has planned a one-on-one -on -one date with Nate, which is a truth or dare Jenga. Oh, my. Uh, no, it's fine. Okay. Okay, but this isn't regular Jenga. There's something written on it, and you have to do what's written on it. Oh, oh look how that works out. Look how that works out. So, if you'd like, you can go first. That's a perfect first question. Why do I already don't want to pull this one out? What? I can't that tell was the you. Only, that was a joke one. That one was oh. a joke. Who's your favorite girl and why? Um, I'll answer this one in my head. It says biggest fear. Ooh, that's an easy one. Movie theaters are kind of scary. Movie theaters? I love movie theaters, but they're kind of scary. They all say something on it? No, I don't know. Oh, that one does. Oh, cute. <laughs> favorite memory of us. Yeah. Let's give them a little something. Part, like party, Saddle Ranch. Mm. That'll be Saddle Ranch. Aaron and I are the perfect example of a relationship that didn't start off as friends first. So this is a great moment to get to know her on a deeper level. Got that. Oh my gosh, it says make a secret handshake. That's so cute. You have to help me. Okay. I'm having wine with you, so. <clears throat> uh, easy thing is to like do the boom, boom. Then we'll do a slide. Up, then back, and then a kiss or hug or... Cute. Love it. I think we know where we stand with like everything. Yeah, I think so too. We'll chat, I'm sure, later. We will. Perfect. Maybe I'll get a date one day that I didn't have to play. Before you get too comfortable. Oh, <laughs> Do you want to go talk for a little bit? Yeah. Oh, here comes Monica. I wonder what she has planned. All right, so this, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. Oh, another challenge. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna race from here to around. Just one time around. Yep, and you and we'll see who wins. You're gonna win. Because you're kind of fast, so like. You're probably faster. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? And you're not gonna let me win. I Three, two, one, go. Ow. You're such a liar. I'm, 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 I'm. I appreciate you for like sticking in there and still being here and stuff. Cause <laughs> it's tough. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not a quitter. I like that. I like going after what I want. So I like that. <laughs> Glad to be here. Yeah. So I'm okay. good. Okay. Yeah. Head back in. All right, one more. Okay, wait, one more. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, just like one, it's like one, like who's counting? Like honestly. 
I think me and Monica are to that level now in our relationship where, you know, we'll just steal a kiss here and there. Today really is about expecting the unexpected because we're about to go into midday eliminations. One of you is going home right now. First off, I just want to say thank you to all of you for, again, getting on the show and taking this risk and being vulnerable because it's not easy. So I just wanted to say that before I make my decision. On one hand, I feel bad because nobody's expecting this midday elimination, but this is a dating show, so sorry. This person that I'm sending home, I've enjoyed our talks. You've taught me so much, but I just think at this time, I have a better connection with some of the other girls than you. So the person that I'm eliminating is Gabby. I understand. It's okay. It's okay. It was it was really great to know you. Oh no, Gabby! We love Gabby. Everyone loves Gabby. Yeah, she really is just like a big ball of sunshine, and we're really going to miss her. Of course. <laughs> you're all, you're making us all cry now. Like, we love you. This is so hard. I'm literally sending one of the sweetest girls that I've ever met in my life home. So, with that said, the person that I am taking on my one-on-one -on -one date is... Monica. Absolutely. <laughs> you guys can go get ready for your one-on-one -on -one date. I'd wear something where you can get your shoes a little bit messy. <laughs> okay. Messy. Okay. <laughs> there are three girls left. Comment down below who you think is going to make it to the final two. Check out Tune My Heart, the podcast, available in the link in the description below, where we spill lots and lots of tea. Make sure to stay tuned for the next episode. Click the bell button to get notified when the next episode comes out. We're down to the final three girls. Wait, you saw him like out in person? Aaron's telling too many stories. I am I'm so <laughs> excited. I'm dreading this night more than any of the nights before. Tonight, I will be eliminating. Make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to Nate, check him out on TikTok, subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see, see you guys, guys next time. Bye! Daniela left. Why are you going crazy? It's just, it's just a lot. It's a lot. <sighs> you all are going to be doing a scavenger hunt. Go, 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 go. Oh wow, this place is a mess. Expect the unexpected. I should have known something like this was gonna happen. So the person that I'm eliminating is Gabby. The person that I am taking on my one-on-one -on -one date is Monica. Welcome back to season three of Twin My Heart. If you haven't watched the previous episode, make sure to watch it so you're all caught up. We're down to the final three girls. This is crazy. I don't know what's going to happen next. The pressure is on as Nate determines who his perfect match is. So we're sitting on the couch with Monica and Brianna, and we're just talking about like girl stuff, just random things. I'm trying to ask some juicy questions, and somehow we get on the topic of Aaron. We all know that Aaron had a thing with Nate okay. before this. We had no idea when we casted her. <laughs> but she said she got cast like a while back, yeah. like yeah. before she got it was before, before, before he was even him, picked. Apparently. Yeah, that's what she told us too. Well, I was gonna ask her. I wanted I to see like, did he know before you got I here? I thought she said like. She messaged him or he messaged her. Like, like I want to know. Like, well, I can I, tell you. Did he? So he, they had like met at a party. Yeah, yeah. And that's how they knew each other. And then 
she came back in town he was like oh why are you back in town and she was like oh i'm going on this like show and he was like oh what show she was like oh some like dating show and he was like well, what's it called and he, she was like i like twin my heart and he was like well i'm the guy and she was like oh that's not what she told us at all she told us she met him at a party and then they like sort of kept in touch and they hung out like once or twice and then she found out from an article that he was gonna be the guy on Twin My Heart. So apparently there's two different stories going around about how Nate and Aaron found out each other were going to be on the show. Who's telling the truth? How long have you known Nate? Not that long, like three, three months. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, maybe four. But like how did um like how did you figure out that like he was gonna be on the show on the show? I ran into him out and we just started chatting and I was like, oh I'm doing a show, whatever. That's so funny. I know. Like so Wait, right you met him like, you saw him like out in person? Yeah. And you asked him? Brianna looks so annoyed at trying to figure out when Aaron and Nate found out that they were going to be on Twin My Heart. I mean, honestly, I don't blame her. Aaron's telling too many stories. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm just asking just, yeah. just because when you were explaining to the girls, like you kind of left that part out. Yeah. And you were just like, oh, like, no, I saw articles and stuff about the show and that he was a part of it. Mm -hmm. And that's how you figured it out. We're so excited for this one-on-one -on -one date, even though we're not going to be a part of it. But we got horses on the property, and they're going horseback riding. Me and Monica are literally matching. She's got the brown boots, I got the brown boots. We got the blue jeans, we got the flannels going on. Great minds think alike. Welcome! Wow. Welcome. Welcome to your one-on-one -on -one date! I am so <laughs> excited! Obviously, oh you gosh. probably know what you're doing, but you're going to be riding horses! Yes! yes. yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so hyped! We decided to leave Nate and Monica alone on this horseback riding date so they can get as much alone time as they can. Poor oh, hands. Don't fall off the horses. I know. <laughs> yeah, I was either like five or six, and it was like one of my first times learning how to ride a horse. Yeah. And it was the horse that I like, was kind of, it's like kind of mine. Um, it's my cousin's, yeah. I rode it all the time when I would like go to Kentucky to like visit family and stuff. You think your parents would like me? I think my parents would like you. You think so? I think so. And I really like you, so I know they're gonna like you. What about you? What do you think your parents would think of? My mom, I just, I just know my mom would love you and my grandma. <laughs> We're gonna try to sneak away and talk without the cameras hopefully following us. Thank you again for this. Of course. <laughs> Why did I just have an accent right there? <laughs> I'm not bad. I don't mind the oh accent. My God. <laughs> Cheers Cameron. to to date number three, yeah. <laughs> Were you like the popular girl in school? Um I was like the smart kid. Okay. That was also like Captain of the Truth team. Uh, okay. Like so very yeah, different groups. But I would never say it was like the popular, popular one. How about you? I think you were like the all-star jock that all the girls had a crush on. <laughs> Actually, that wasn't all, all-star, but yeah, I played sports and like, yeah, I pretty much knew everyone. Because mm -hmm. I was just a very outgoing person. Like I wasn't right. quiet or anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hold up, grab about the grapes. <laughs> all right, so. That didn't happen. Yeah, that didn't happen. Um, nobody saw that one. <laughs> hey. Uh, there you go. Oh, you're done. No, 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 no. Your turn. I'm not gonna catch it. I'm gonna it's throw gonna it up. If like you don't try, bears. if you don't try, it's gonna hit you on the head. I don't know. I might rather just prefer it hitting me on the head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three, okay. two, one. That's. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even go for it. What the heck? <laughs> With some healthy grapes. <laughs> <laughs> nice big old healthy grape. <laughs> <laughs> Now every time you see a big grape, you're gonna think Yeah, big old healthy grape. <laughs> Can we take a moment to appreciate Nate and Monica's one-on-one -on -one date and how it was like during the sunset? It's beautiful. Beautiful. What's yeah. your Christmas site? My Christmas. Um, it's just with my grandma and my mom, mm -hmm. which I love that. Yeah. Um, Christmas Eve, we open up one gift. Yeah, yes. That's and then nice. the next morning, you know, we open up all the presents, and I love it. What do you guys do on Christmas? Like, does all the family get together? Or? Yeah, so... 
both of my parents are only children. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a lot of like direct like aunts and uncles type of thing. Okay. Um, but I have a lot of like more extended family on my mom's side. We have a lot of family friends. So usually like Christmas Eve we'll do like a party at my house type of thing. Um, invite everyone over. My mom will make like pozole, which is like a- What is that? It's like a traditional Mexican soup. Okay. And like, it's always made around the holidays. I really like the level that me and Monica have reached. We're talking about our families, how many kids we want. It's becoming super special. And you gotta teach me Spanish. Okay, I could do that. Cause I only know like one thing in Spanish. Yo quiero un beso. Oh, that was smooth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, I like that phrase. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, thank you for going on this date with me. It's our third date. Mm. Three nights in a row. Mm -hmm. I can be done for this every night. Could you? <laughs> yeah. That's good to know. Monica's definitely not afraid to show what she wants, and I love that about her. Is awkward. You, want, you guys want some big old healthy grapes? I'll actually, take some grapes. Actually, I would, yeah. I would love some grapes. But like you gotta call them big. You gotta call them big. Old big. Healthy grapes. Yep, exactly. Old healthy grapes. Do Look how big they are. They're like apples. They are. <laughs> Back to your date. Tell us about it. Yeah, it was, it was fun. We got to like pet them, play with them for a little bit. I wish I could stay for everyone to ride. Yeah. They have four. Yeah, Can we, we all go on a ride. I know. One was just chilling. We could have like popped up in the back. We could have run one together and I'd be like, hey guys! <laughs> so funny if you guys just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I was like, there's an extra horse, me and Brianna have a date. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wanted to see if you maybe wanted to go outside. Oh, sure. And maybe make some s'mores. S'mores? S'mores, do you like s'mores? I love s'mores. Okay, well good, because I want to go outside. S'mores? Is it hard? Is, is, it something you <laughs> like, is that hard yes. to do? Yes. You can burn them. <laughs> All right, let's make some noise. Okay. Yeah, let's go. I'm so down for that, actually. Okay, so here we are. We have marshmallows and chocolate and cookies. Okay. So do you like your marshmallows medium rare or medium? Never medium rare, okay. ever. Yeah. That's disgusting. They'd probably still be moving. Yeah. <laughs> cookies for graham crackers? Yeah. Oh, that's new. That's probably so good. Yeah, and then we have the chocolate, Hershey's, and then we have this. Oh, wow. That's actually gonna be really good. Oh, wow, that's really good. Is it? That's a cookie and a marshmallow? Look, I yeah. have a nut in mine. I don't nut. even know which kind of chocolate to grab. You gonna have friends after this? Out of, out of all this? <laughs> we talked about that. I hope so. I. I I think like me and the girls, like literally everybody that's been sent home, we already have like this sisterhood. That's crazy to me. Isn't that let weird? Me just, like, let me just point out that that is crazy to me because I feel like on every like type of show like this, especially with girls, there is the most drama. So I was a little bit surprised that mm -hmm. you guys were all like so close. Yeah, I mean, how do you feel about that? Do you think like we talk behind your back and have things to say? Um, I have mixed emotions about it because it's like everyone's competing for the same person. So I know if I was in your guys' position, I would have been like... Yeah, like think of all your exes <laughs> getting together and just like talking about it. Cause like what, you know, we talk about this obviously, like this is how we all met. Mm -hmm. So we bring you up, yeah. <laughs> is there no like... But I can't spill the tea. So does it bother you to see me with like someone else? That's your friend, it's, apparently, on the show. You want me to be so be honest? Be completely honest. Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah, like... Okay, so, like, think about, like, the barn the other night when you pulled me out. Mm -hmm. We were doing eliminations. Like, the next day, I really didn't want to talk about it with anybody. I personally would like to keep everything kind of private mm -hmm. and, like, keep it to myself because I just don't think they need to know. Like, it's not their business. But Girl Code, you guys are all great friends. It is, but let's, t let's do Girl Code when we're all gone. When this isn't a thing anymore. Okay, no, that's like, different. Like the show's over, we don't have to worry about that. It's like not in everybody's mind, like it's not so fresh. Yeah. So it's like that. But on a serious note, thank you for pulling me aside. No, like I really, honest, I wanted to because, you know, like eliminations tonight. And today I feel like we haven't like had a lot of time to talk. So I just, I really wanted to, you know, just sit down with you. Just do something like fun, like cutesy, and, mm -hmm. you know. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, good. oh my gosh, I'm kind of jealous right now. I mean, you can have some. Let me tell you, cookie and marshmallow, not the Hershey's, that wasn't the vibe. But cookies <laughs> and marshmallow, yeah. so good. All right, I'll have to try it. 
Um, I'm here to let you know that it's time to get ready for eliminations tonight, so. The worst time of the night. It's beyond worse. It's I like know. I don't even want to go get ready. I'm dreading this night more than any of the nights before. Okay, so tell us about your date with Monica. My date with Monica was honestly magical. <gasps> yeah, that's a word like I can a use. fairy tale magical? No way. Yeah, no, that was hands down the best date I've ever been on in my life. I think me and Monica's relationship is very strong. Okay. Like, we can just naturally think of topics to say. It doesn't come off like it's being forced. And yeah, it's just real. Okay. And so I saw you with Brianna. Mm -hmm. And how was that? Me and Brianna had a great conversation too. It was like a mini date. Like, we were, we were doing s'mores. And it was amazing. We really got to talk about some deep stuff. Okay. Okay, so how are you feeling about eliminations? Eliminations are here and I have no idea who I'm eliminating. I wish I was going into this with more clarity. Like, I feel so strongly about all these girls and I just really don't have like a confident decision on who I want to send home right now, I just don't. So because Nate has had a really crazy roller coaster of a day, I think it's best that we just call off eliminations tonight and that nobody gets eliminated tonight. I think so too. Maybe we should just cancel eliminations for tonight? Don't joke with me. Please make that a thing. Please make that a thing. <laughs> Let me have one more day to think. That's all I need. Are you serious? Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm serious. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense because today was expect the unexpected. The expect, expect the unexpected. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what we had to I'm so happy, actually. Aww. Let's go tell the girls. Do you want to tell them in a, like, just casual or do you want to do it in a mean way? I think I like the suspense though. I like suspense too. Meanies! She, it was her idea. <laughs> okay ladies, um, you look beautiful tonight, but today's been a whirlwind of emotions. For sure. It's definitely been crazy and now we are here at Eliminations. Yeah, um, like, like she said, you guys look beautiful and thank you for today. Um, that said, tonight I will be eliminating... Nobody. <laughs> I okay. said that earlier! Okay. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> we all just kind of decided that because today was just so heavy with emotions that there was going to be no eliminations tonight. <laughs> So. I can't do it like again right now. I just cannot. <laughs> no, there's no way. I can't even do it. Either. I can't do it either. We could either. Yeah. <laughs> so that means we get to see you guys another day. Yay. Yay. I'm gonna give you a hint for tomorrow's challenge, and the hint is bring your inner child. Okay. Ooh, okay. I can do that. Can do that. Yeah. yeah. We have a special surprise for you guys. You guys get to spend the rest of the evening in the hot tub with Nate. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. Come on, ladies. Oh, it's nice to relax. Yeah, enjoy. just relax. Enjoy. enjoy the night. Are you going to get in the hot tub? No. I'm not really feeling it tonight. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go to bed. We, we'll let Nate have his moment with the, the girls. I feel like we've been in Nate's business a lot today, so you know what? We'll just let him, let him be. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Let me ease into that. We've been sitting here for a uh, We've been here for a while. We're gonna warm. Really? Why are you so much taller than me? We're on our feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was like, uh, How do you feel about not sending any of I'm loving it. <laughs> we're like holding hands, we're like, guys, it's okay. I know, like, you guys are holding hands. Like, I was like, oh my god, I feel like the sweaty. bad guy here. I feel like I'm the villain and like the team over there. <laughs> no, we don't want to see you. Anyways. We just play a game and whoever loses has to jump in the pool. What game? What's the game? Yeah, whoever loses. What's the game? Never oh, have I ever. I we didn't finish our game. Like, Aaron, can you give us never have I ever questions? Like yeah. say it on top. Or just look up on your phone or something. Oh, uh, here's one. Never have I ever kissed two girls on the same day. Uh, oh, okay. righty. I started it off doing, strong. Aaron? I see what you're doing. Um, well in that case. Put that finger down. Put that finger down. It's fine. It's oh, you guys are just assuming that I've kissed two girls on one day? Oh, we already know. Oh, we know. Oh. How do you know? Hot tub talk last night. I don't like that he's kissing other girls. I'm gonna be straight up. Exactly. I don't like that. I don't yeah. like that at all. How are you guys this close? <laughs> Never have I ever stayed in touch with an ex. 
That's I think all say. of us. I feel have. like at some point in your life. Never ever said. Okay, so we're all putting finger down. Okay. 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 Should we tell stories? No. No, we no. don't have to do that. Never have I ever got extensions. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, okay, he's so excited. Never have I ever gone on a horseback riding date. I knew it was gonna be something that already. You have one finger left. You have to put your finger down. You have to for that okay, one. Okay, um, never have Ten I emails. ever dated 10 people at once. Not me, girl. You can't miss me with that. <laughs> You did I it. did not you did date that girl. I did not yes, date. What were you doing? Women. What were you doing? I was actually like had. Oh, whatever. I lost. I guess. Just you can you just go in? You should probably. Get How in. about you just get out and you go in? Let's have the confessionals right now, Nate. So what do you, you put? Like, you put, like, like, you put they, a lot of stress, stress yeah, every night. Honestly, you know, like I they? think it's ridiculous how the three girls that are supposedly liking me um, teamed up against me and made me jump in the pool. Something just crazy here. This this friendship is just really like. You were the one that came up with the pool idea, so I think it's fair you go first. You just do it. Go, go, go. Just say YOLO and do it. You know what? This is, this is just messed up. Three, two, two one, one, jump! jump! Oh, oh, it's gonna be so good! Oh, like, you gotta hit us with a backflip. I know. A little okay. bit impressed, a little okay. bit impressed. That was cold. He looks cool. in vain, he looks in vain. That might be the coldest thing I've ever bumped into. Comment down below what has been your favorite date this season. Make sure to tune in to the next episode. Hit the bell button to get notified when the next episode comes out and give this video a like. Make sure to check out Twin My Heart the podcast available in the description below. You don't want to miss out on the tea because it's hot. Final three. Welcome to Twin My Heart the talent show. Have you thought about who you want to eliminate? I'm definitely nervous today. What are you doing? Why are you pulling her away? Where do you think we stand? It's, 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 it's great. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to Nate, check him out on TikTok, check out our TikTok as well, and subscribe to us as well. Yeah, you might as well. You might as well. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. We're down to the final three girls. You're gonna be riding horses. <laughs> to date number three, yeah. I wanted to see if you maybe wanted to go outside. Tonight, I will be eliminating nobody. I said that earlier. <laughs> Expect the unexpected. Yeah. yeah. That's what we had planned. And the rest of the evening in the hot tub with Nate. How are you guys this close? <laughs> Jump! Oh! oh. Hey guys, welcome back to season three of Twin My Heart. If you haven't watched the previous episode, make sure to watch it because a lot went down. Also, we are down to the final two episodes. I can't believe we're here. This journey has been crazy and I can't wait to see how it ends. <laughs> how do y'all feel? I'm feeling good. A little bit up to not good tonight. Oh wait, let's go through the vineyard. All right, first we're gonna TP the casino. So we wake up this morning and we discover that the entire backyard and gazebo are covered in toilet paper. Oh, I wonder who did it. Good, Good morning, morning ladies. ladies. I hope you guys got a lot of rest. Yes, because today is going to be a really rough day and very emotional. So today's challenge is clean up the mess you made. <laughs> <laughs> there is this note called Expect the Unexpected by the final three. I don't know if you expected the crew to clean up the mess you made, but you ladies have to go clean it up and then we'll actually tell you what the real challenge is. Yeah, we're the ones who come up with the twists around here. Not you guys. So, hurry up, go along. Okay, okay. okay. I guess, I guess. We, we were gonna clean it up anyways. So our prank backfired. 
doesn't seem like the crew thinks it's as funny as we think it is. Hi, when camera's cut, can you please go apologize to Paul? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys asked for extra toilet paper. He went around searching the entire house for extra toilet paper. I heard you guys lie saying that you got it from your trailer. No, you got it from Paul. So you guys need to go apologize to Paul after this. Okay. okay, thank you. The reason why it's so important to apologize to Paul is because the girls asked Paul for more toilet paper because they were out when in reality they weren't. And they wasted the toilet paper just for a prank? I'm really sorry. Damn it, girls, you totally made me so frustrated. I know. You broke my trust. I feel betrayed. We'll make I'm it up sorry. to you, Paul. Betrayed, you better make it up to me. I'm going to my room. Well, thank you girls for cleaning up the mess and thank you for apologizing to Paul. So today's challenge is called Little Red Bucket. The hint that we gave you guys the other night was bring your inner child. You guys are gonna be making a song with children's instruments and you will have to be pulling out topics out of the red bucket and that's how you'll make your song. Can we just play or is it? Yeah, you have to sing. write a song. You have to write a song. <laughs> you have to write, <laughs> we have okay. to write a song with instruments, okay. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Can, we can do this. We got this. And so you each are going to draw three things out of this bucket and you have to include it in your song. So are we working with like a recording software here? Like how are we gonna record that? Like no, like there's live gonna... performances. <laughs> wow, okay. I got beach, okay. We could work on that. Beach? Um, fall, uh, those don't really mix. And um, family. Beach fall family. Beach fall family. Okay, so I got Los Angeles. I got IG models and rich. Okay, that all it feels like all that all together. goes together. <laughs> That's such a okay. Okay, and I got ghosts, ugly sweater, and heartbreak. Those two kind of could go together. That's kind of amazing. Yeah, that's all over the place. I feel like, like a Taylor so Swift song, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you ladies have about 30 minutes to make your songs. You guys can choose an instrument. You can choose multiple instruments, whatever you like. And your time starts now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really looking forward to hearing these girls sing or rap or play an instrument. Whatever they do, it's gonna be great. We get a sneak peek of what Erin is up to. She has like this little cute keyboard and it's, 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 it's great. Really? <laughs> Have you used all your words? Yes. I will my best. let you get Finishing up. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but it sounds great so far. How's your song coming along? I'm struggling, honestly. You are? I like, know. I think I got like the best combo of words, but like I'm actually just struggling. I think just like writing a song in general mm -hmm. is really hard. So I got like one verse or chorus. Okay. Thing, but like, okay, I don't know if it's fine. gonna be like the verse or the chorus. I have no idea, because right now I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm like, 30 minutes is not enough time for me, so we'll see. I decided to create a rap because I can't sing and I thought a rap would be fun and let me be a little bit funnier. Wow. Really good, actually. Oh my gosh, you have I, have all my, <laughs> I have all my lyrics written and I have a beat. I'm just trying to make it go together. It's really hard to play at the same time as well, singing. Yeah. You technically don't have to sing, you can rap. Oh no, it's a rap. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't sing. Okay, <laughs> so, good. It's a rap. All right, welcome to Twin My Heart, the talent show. Hey. hey. So who wants to go first? Any volunteers? I'll go first. Oh, oh well, okay. Yeah. First is Monica. This is gonna be interesting. I mean, I write songs, but I don't write them with children's instruments or with random words. Okay. So here's the thing, I went on this show, didn't think I'd get cast, but I did so like, whoa. I met this guy, his name is Nate, only known him for a week, but hey, he's pretty great. Hey. On our first date, I almost wore an ugly sweater, but then I saw his style, knew I had to do better. He likes scary movies, ain't afraid of ghosts. He likes ice cream, hope he likes avocado toast. Hey. We talked about food, said we'd go to Boa Steak, Nate, you've won my heart, please don't let my heart break. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. <laughs> Yo, Monica's actually a good rapper. She's got bars. Good job. Thank I have to follow you. her up now. Good job. <laughs> so who's next? 
That was great. <laughs> I guess I'll go. I, guess I haven't rehearsed this yet, so this is my first time. Oh, this is time. your first time through. Every performer has a rough <laughs> patch sometimes, you know? <laughs> You dream big since seven. On the big screen, oh, that'd be heaven. Maybe an IG model, if that's what it takes, but I know where my heart is, and that can't be a race. Los Angeles, it's a city of dreams. You might make it rich, but it's harder than it seems. Hey. Put in the time and put in the work. Pull yourself together and go get that burk. Always remember, never forget, you're a good girl, never stray from it. <laughs> Go for those dreams, no matter how hard, you got that fire that will take you far. Word. Word, <laughs> hey! Oh, hey, hey! Amazing. Amazing. I swear guys, I have bars. rhythm, it's just not there. Everybody <laughs> not has bars. Right there. Everybody has bars, that was so good. Thank was good. you, was thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. Can I do this count? Yeah. Okay. We could go to the beach, or we could just stay at home. <laughs> it doesn't matter as long as you know anywhere with you I want to be. And hey, maybe one day you'll meet my family. Never let you down, and I'll always be around. Never let you fall, I'll be there when you call. The songs to let you know just how much you mean to me. And hey, you look real cute in those jeans. Oh, <laughs> that was cute, yeah, that was, that was so cute. good. It was much better in my head when I could actually <laughs> sing yeah. it. That's I'm sorry, what I got. <laughs> Alright ladies, you did so well. We're gonna grab Nate and we're gonna talk about the challenge, but we'll be back in a few. Okay? Okay. Sounds cool. good. What do you think? What are your opinions? Monica, I think she did the best. She killed it, yeah. She, had, she, she came with bars. Good. She did. But Brianna had bars too though. Brianna had some bars. Um, I think Monica and Brianna had bars and Aaron sang, which I respect that because I know how nerve-wracking that is. Especially if you don't sing. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so have you thought about who you want to eliminate? Well, thank you for that surprise. You knew it, it was, was coming. This season happens no, every, every season. I thought that was just an unexpected day. No, there was a midday elimination. There's another one. I didn't know there was another one. Like, yeah, there's another one. All right, well, that was such a fun challenge. And seeing you guys put yourselves out there was really neat because we know that wasn't easy. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so as you guys know, or may not know, on previous seasons of Twin My Heart, uh, the last day uh, for the last challenge, there is actually no MVP. So everyone is uh -oh. MVP in my book because <laughs> that takes a lot of that takes a lot to do what you guys just did. Yeah. So, so unfortunately, no one is safe from eliminations. Actually, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Sure. Sorry, that was like dramatic, but. Okay. Wait, Nate. What are you doing? Why are you pulling her away? Hello. What's going on? The girls look so confused right now. They have no idea what's going on. Where do you think we stand? I think that we get along great and like we have a lot of fun when we're together. Um, and I mean, I've really enjoyed, you know, hanging out with you and being here with you. Mm -hmm. Why? How do you feel? What do you think they're talking about out there? <laughs> I don't know. I no clue, honestly. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's the last day, so, like, I think everything, um, we just don't know what to expect. Yeah. Try to understand. I have reached those deep connections with the two other girls. Mm -hmm. Part of me is thinking, like, if we were going to work, it should have happened, like, before the show. We've, we do know each other, but we haven't actually known each other that long. Yeah, no, I know. You know, and, but, I mean, every time I've been in L.A., we've got along and hung out. I mean, that's why I kept you around as, like, as long as I did, because I wanted to figure it out. Right. Um, and I just don't think we have as much as I have with the other two girls that are still here. Okay. And as you know, midday eliminations are coming up, and I don't want, I 
care about you too much to mm -hmm. put you through like eliminations and stuff yeah. like that. No, and I, I appreciate that, I do. It sucks. Yeah, I know, it does suck. But I mean, I respect that at the same time. Can I have a hug? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Standing hug. Sorry. Okay, I get it, it happens. You okay? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm good. Okay. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't working out. Yeah. You were Honestly. supposed to wait. <laughs> yeah, you I, I, wait. I know, I no, just didn't. Okay. That elimination ceremony is rough and I just didn't want to put her through that. It's when not, I already knew, you know? Yeah. yeah, and if you, when you feel like it's not working out, then you don't need to yeah. wait, you know? Hello. I'm here to say goodbye. You're going home? Yeah, I'm gonna go home. I did okay. not see that coming. It's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna cry again, guys. No, no don't we're cry. crying. Don't cry. No, I'm really okay. I'm fine. I'm not. Okay, no. well, don't cry. If you cry, I'll cry. So I don't need okay. you guys okay. to cry. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now I have time to. We'll talk though, for sure. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. We, we all got our matching shirts. <laughs> I got a shirt. <laughs> Group hug, guys. Yeah. The trio. The trio. It's so sad to see Erin leave. She was really sweet and we were really vibing with her, especially off camera and stuff. She's such a sweet and down to earth girl. We'll miss, miss you, Erin. We'll miss you, Erin. So what's next? So we were talking to the ladies and I think they have some fun things planned for you for today. Really? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They, on the last day, uh, the girls get to decide a one-on-one -on -one date instead of oh. us putting them through yeah. a one-on-one -on -one date. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, so they're gonna definitely come up with something fun for you. So hopefully it'll lighten your mood. I think it will. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I still have two amazing girls here that I like a lot. It's so sad to see Erin leave, but I can't wait to see what one-on-one -on -one dates Brianna and Monica have planned for Nate. Make sure to check out Twin My Heart, the podcast. If you click the link in the description below, it'll take you there and you can listen to some tea that is gonna be spilled. Comment down below who you think will win Nate's heart. We will find out in the final episode. So make sure you hit the bell button to get notified when that final episode comes out. You're not gonna wanna miss it. We finally made it. Okay, so I have a question for you. How are you feeling? Uh... You wanna know that? I'm out of here! Go, 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 go! Oh, the person who's not a match for me is... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just okay. okay. This season has been absolutely crazy. So much drama, so much tea. I'm just ready to see who Nate ends up choosing. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to Nate's channel, subscribe to our channel. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the final episode. See ya, bye. In season one, Ronnie had a great idea of having the boys take photos of me because that's really important to me. And I know that's important to Nate to have someone who takes good photos, but not only takes good photos, takes good photos with him. You look so good. These are so cute. Okay, then let's hit one of these. Is that the one? Yeah, I got that one. <laughs> I wanna see that one, that was probably really cute. I'm not gonna lie, the Merrill twins are right here taking photos of us, but that is not gonna get in the way of me kissing Brianna. That's cute. Oh my God. I'm dancing, I see like little looks from Nate, and I was like, oh, like he's watching. I don't know what he's thinking. Look in, look in. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know if it's the fog machine, but things are getting really steamy between Aaron and Nate. Our faces are getting close. I'm teasing her for the music video. It's inevitable at this point. Obviously the girls are close, but all of a sudden I feel like the competition has really started because now we are seeing that they are expressing they really like Nate and they're, some of them are concerned. I thought I had a clear decision of my elimination tonight, but now I'm like, hey. I'm 
like nervous for eliminations tonight. Why? Like I know like you're having connections with the other girls too. Mm -hmm. So obviously it makes me like a little bit nervous, but like I still just wanted to like pull you aside and like talk to you. Yeah. Like, First season, I watched a movie with Tim, and it was just like a really fun vibe. We watched my favorite movie. We just got to talk and get to know each other. So I thought this would be a great idea for Monica and Nate to do that. I've always wanted this to do like, this. And you have great energy. Like I love that. Like, it's easy to talk to <laughs> you. Thank you. We you had too. so much fun the other yes. the Sunday. <laughs> you tie a cherry in a knot. Yeah. No way you do it that fast. Okay. It's all the way in the back of my mouth now. I don't know how it got there, but I'll get back to that. You've <laughs> never had someone say <laughs> I mean, I don't think I've honest. ever had someone ask me to do that for them, though, either. So, really? really. Yeah, that was first. So, because you know, right now you're not a good kisser, so. Right now, that's what that means. Right oh, now you're not a good kisser. You told me what that meant. Unfortunately, it's the worst time of the day. I will be picking my bottom three, and... Yeah. Brianna, can I actually talk to you for a second? Yeah. So, Nate is taking Brianna away? What is he doing? Is he gonna eliminate her? So, I really enjoyed our date. And earlier, like I, I really respected the fact that you opened up to me about your daughter. And I'm not gonna lie, that took me by surprise a little bit, but I mm -hmm. loved it. Mm -hmm. And it was a it was a great surprise. Um, and I felt like I was a little bit nervous, so I wasn't able to say everything that I wanted to say to mm -hmm. you. Especially yeah. after that. When you talk about your daughter, you glow, and I've never seen anyone radiate the way you did today. I have nothing but the most respect for you, and I truly feel honored to have you here standing right next to me. You should be proud of yourself and believe me when I say I am. <sighs> okay, sorry. <clears throat> I know it's crazy here with all the other ladies in the house, but I wanted to let you know that I had a great time with you today. Even though you beat me, kind of. <laughs> I did, no I did. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> like three times maybe. You did, okay. <laughs> um, you're beautiful and I can't wait until the next time I can spend more alone time with you. I love that. And now I feel like I need to, I should have wrote something down. No, 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 you didn't need to do that. I just, no. I needed to write it down because sometimes I get a little nervous mm -hmm. and I can't get everything out that I want to say. Yeah. Um, you had to like so think about had, it a little bit. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And I had to write it down and yeah. I feel great that I was able to get that out. But with that said, there's one more thing that I wanted to do. Okay. to give you ladies some advice. This is a dating show. Tomorrow, your time with Nate is as valuable as ever. Nate keeps pulling all these twists on us. Apparently, there's two different stories going around. She's going home, and there's nothing I can say or do to stop her. How are you feeling about eliminations? Coming into this, I didn't know what to expect. It was hands down the best date I've ever been on in my life. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And to get ready for season three of Twin My Heart, we want to give you guys an exclusive sneak peek of what's to come. You don't want to miss it. So this season of Twin My Heart was filmed following strict COVID safety guidelines.
We have so much fun with the cast and crew every single season, but it's also important to us that everyone is safe. We were so happy that we could stay at a place where we could do just that. So this is the foyer. To our right is the yoga room. This is where a lot of conversations happen. No yoga was actually performed <laughs> in this room, I don't think. No one did yoga. I mean, unless someone did, I just wasn't here to see it because I was still sleeping. We used this room to spy on people. We had conversations. People roasting stuff. People cried. There was a lot that happened in this room. A lot of emotions expressed in there. So this is the kitchen. As you can see, there's like hand sanitizer everywhere. Make sure you're always hand sanitizing and washing your hands. So much happens in this kitchen this season. It's the place where everyone hangs out. Today is the first day and it's been super exciting getting to know everyone. Everyone's so nice and everybody's actually having like good conversations with everyone. It's been super fun. I love that we're all getting along really well. We finally got to meet the bachelor and he's tall. So far, I haven't gotten any vibes from any of the girls that it could be. Like bad vibes or like mm, little shady stuff going on, but you never know. I hope we all can stay as friends and like continue to get along. But maybe once the game starts, it can get a little competitive. So maybe, you know, some sites start coming out. <laughs> so we'll see. There were also a few secrets revealed in the kitchen. So about last night, I saw you come back. <laughs> oh, laughing and cheese and shit happened. You were smiling in our face. Like, that's so rude and shady. I don't think I was really smiling in your face as I just came back happy and you guys just happened to be there. After we saw you kiss him, you don't think that was shady? So the kitchen is my favorite spot in the house because this is where all the food is, this is where all of our lunch comes in, and this is also where everyone kind of hangs around at night, even like cast and crew, and we all just get to chill and have a good time. One more thing about the kitchen. Look how massive this fridge is. I can't even reach side to side. I can see you guys. And oh, wait. There used to be a bunch of orange juices in there, but it looked a lot prettier earlier. <laughs> place of the house and there's a lot of drama that happens out there by the pool I don't like that he's kissing other girls I'm gonna be straight up exactly. I don't like that I don't yeah. like that at all and I don't want to be I don't want to be just like another, another yeah, girl he's kissing because then it's just not gonna feel special on my end this is my favorite spot because I just love the aesthetic of the pool the lights the bonfire over there the grill it's just so cute so many things happened here, like the pool race that we had with the Zorb balls, a lot of uh, steamy tea in the hot tub, Ooh. and lots of cute moments by the fireplace, and the gazebo. Uh, the pool, well, who doesn't love a pool? And this is actually Nate's room. Yeah, Nate there. sleeps in there. He's probably sleeping now. Yeah, he's probably asleep. I have to say the most memorable part of the house is the barn, where eliminations will be taking place. This sucks, I'm not gonna lie, it's the first night. Um, but unfortunately, someone has to get eliminated. Um, so, for my bottom two... You guys are definitely gonna be surprised how this all plays out. Even I am. Filming can be stressful because there's lots of emotions and it's a lot of work. And so this room is just a room to just like get away from it and just relax and have fun. All right, so now we're going to show you guys the confessional room. This is the room where everyone confesses things. They're also in the laundry room. <laughs> okay, so here's the confessional room. This is it. This is where people would sit and look at the camera and talk to the producer who's in here to get all the tea. All the tea is spilled. We don't actually get to see what people say in confessionals until after the show is released. Yeah, so, so the camera would be over there in this corner. The producer would sit right here. And me and Ronnie would sit right here. And we'd say, welcome to Explore My Heart season three. Now we're gonna go over to the living room. This way. All 
All right, so this is the living room where a bunch of tea happened, drama, lots of discussion. It's the style for me. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> no. It's the great listening skills for me. That's a good one. It is the smile for me. <laughs> it's the brows for me. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, that's uh, one. Okay, Brian. Uh, okay, uh, it's the heart for me. Oh, oh that was cute. That was cute. Oh, that's one. Are you ready? Yeah. Um, it's the empathy for me. Oh. Oh. A lot of spying happened at that window one day with Daniela and Nate. I took some naps here. I did two great naps. We also did a ton of TikToks in the living room. Any chance we could get, we were just doing TikToks all throughout the house. watch Twin My Heart season three so you can see everything go down in this house and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. See you later. Good night. These are my lightsaber tricks but I'm using a random sticks I found. It actually does look really pretty with these lights. Hey, hey guys. guys! I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And I'm Nate Wyatt. And today we're going to give Nate a makeover and put him in outfits that he's never worn before. I kind of have a bunch of different styles. I would say my main style though is like streetwear. Listen Nate, you don't need a makeover because you already have great style which we're going Thank to be you. seeing on Twin My Heart season three. Oh yeah. But today we're gonna put you in something different that you would not normally wear. I'm think? excited. This is great. I know. You like fashion. I know, but stuff I've never worn before. Yeah. yeah, we decided that we would give you looks that are like themed that we haven't seen you wear on your Instagram. Mm -hmm. But they're like fashionable. In the yeah, ones. they're fashionable. Okay. You're, you're not going to look bad at all. Okay. Unless it's the wrong sizing thing. That might look bad. Whoever can make you look the best and picks the best outfit wins the challenge. Okay. All right, Nate, are you ready for this challenge? I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be. All right. Well, Who, who's gonna go first? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, since I've won, I choose you get to go first. Okay. Oh my gosh, is this several outfits? No, this is just one outfit for you. It's a whole look. Okay. Okay. So my look for you is artsy hipster look. I looked on your Instagram, you don't have anything like this. It's like, you're gonna feel like you like make art or like you belong in a cafe or like a poetry city. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> the first thing I got was this hat. <laughs> oh, I actually used to wear hats like this. I can't lie to you. Ooh, my hair though. And so you will be wearing that hat with this shirt that I got you. Okay. It's a turtleneck. <laughs> I love turtlenecks. You do? Okay, I already, I already, wear, I already wear turtlenecks. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna wear this black turtleneck. Okay. Okay, and then for your pants, I got you these really cool, like very nice patterned pants. This is like what I already wear. No, it's this not. This is already I what have, I, no, stop. Are you kidding okay. me? This is like nice, what, okay. Okay, okay. And I love it though, I love the outfit. Here's some shoes to wear. Okay. With your outfit, like the Oxford look. Gotcha. Oh, very classy. And then I got you some glasses for that hipster look. That completes the vibe. Yep, that the artsy vibe. And because I know you're very like you like to wear jewelry and stuff, I got you oh, some chains. Oh, snap. Oh, I got you some chains to wear. You can choose which ones. And then a really nice watch. Okay. Okay, so that's my look for you. I'll put this back in the bag and then you can go change. Okay, I like it. All right, oh, I'm so nervous. I'm see. nervous too, Nate, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, okay, we're gonna close our eyes. Tell us when to look. Oops. Guys ready to open? Yes, yes. tell us when. All right, open. <gasps> oh my God, you're so different. <laughs> I 
feel like I'm ready to dress up a bunch of models for New York Fashion Week. <laughs> you do. Darling, you look beautiful. <laughs> Honestly, this works. This works. It's amazing. This yeah, I literally, that's what I feel like. This is the look I wanted. Yay. <laughs> oh my gosh, you look so good. You look so good. I like it. First off, I love the turtleneck. I wear, I wear turtlenecks. So I love that. Um, I love, love, love the pants. Yay. I love the pants. Um, I love the shoes. They fit amazing. Um, the glasses, the glasses are a vibe. And the hat. The hat I gotta get used to, but I could probably, yeah, I, I like it, it's a, it's a vibe. Yay! Okay, this is like the vibe I really wanted, like the artsy, like a dark artsy. Oh, I feel artsy, vibe. Yeah. for sure. Yeah, you do? Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, go get changed and then I'm gonna show you what outfit I have for you. Okay, all right. Is it, am I gonna have to wear another hat? Maybe, I don't know, go, okay. go, go. All right, so are you ready for my outfit for you now? I'm ready. Okay. I'm gonna Is it also just gonna look like something I wear on a daily basis? No. <laughs> it's inspired by a K-pop star. Interesting. Ooh. <laughs> it's like his airport fashion like go-to look. His name is Jungkook, for those who are wondering. But this is like the epitome of like his normal like outfit that he would wear. Okay. So. First, we've got a leather backpack for you to nice. wear with this outfit. Okay. 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 Next, like we have. Sleek. Okay. Well. Sleek. These are shoes that I kind of stole from your closet, but it's your shoes. Oh my gosh! Where did you get these? <laughs> so you're gonna wear those black shoes. Okay. And Never seen you're these also before. gonna wear some black sweatpants. Okay. These are new. <laughs> then you're gonna be wearing. <laughs> This plaid shirt, like buttoned up like this with the oh, sweat. Cool. Really? Okay. okay. And then over that, you're gonna be wearing this jacket. It's a bomber jacket. So you're gonna wear it over the uh, flannel? the flannel, but open like this. <laughs> this <laughs> necklace with the chain. Okay. Awesome. Okay. That one. Oh, we're not last. No, no, no. This is second to last. You're gonna be wearing these earrings. Oh, so <laughs> So unfortunately, I've been wearing an earring in this side for so months. So you just put one. Okay, yeah. It's okay. So he does one. Okay. Well, he has two, but it's okay. And then last but not least, there's more. It's the last one. Is this one. the icing on the cake? A bucket hat! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna look cool on you! I think, I think I got this one in the bag. Literally. Okay, My so outfit's in a bag. Mine is too. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Let's close your eyes. Tell us when to open. It's a walk Why? of shame. You don't like it? Come on, hurry. I want to see. Open. Open. Oh, <gasps> shut up! <laughs> uh, it's not the first thing I would wear. Um. It's a, it's a. <laughs> Give us a spin. Actually, okay, listen. Give us a spin. I just wouldn't wear like, I wouldn't wear this stuff. Okay. But I actually would wear the, like, the sweatpants, like, with that. Uh -huh. um, the bomber jacket with, like, a flannel underneath. The bucket hat. I think you look great. Wait, well, that's a, all that matters. Give us a 180. You look like you. I mean, it's the vibe. It's yeah, the, it's the vibe that you went for. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, go change, and then we'll decide who won on the couch. Okay. Okay, Nate. What do you like and dislike about the outfits we chose for you? Okay. So for your outfit, um, I would definitely wear that if I was going out at night and it was more dressy, slick. I really liked it. Even the hat and the glasses. That's what I liked. I, I, okay, what okay. I didn't like was the, yeah, the hat. Maybe that, that, that just had to grow on me. I think that just had to grow on me. With your outfit, I wear joggers with tennis shoes. I love the flannel, actually, now that I was looking at it when I was taking it off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I had to I had to marinate with it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, yeah, um, and the and bomber the, jacket. Yeah, I wear bomber jackets. Mm -hmm. Just with that outfit, it, the, it was the jewelry for me. Like I wouldn't wear like that e-boy type jewelry. And the the bucket hat? The bucket hat, yeah. That's, yeah so it's really the hats. Okay. For both. Yeah. All right, let's see. So overall, which outfit did you like the best? 
So yours is like what I would wear if I was like casual and Mine yours was, is like if I was going out at night. So like in the outfit I chose for you, you were no longer Nate, you were Nathaniel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was Nathaniel. Nathaniel. <laughs> um, I liked yours better, but by just a little bit. We <laughs> want you guys to comment in the comments below whose outfit you thought was better. Also, make sure to stay tuned for Twin My Heart, Heart Season 3! Because Nate is the love interest this season and it is absolutely crazy. You won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to our channels and TikToks, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.